My journey with dialysis, it started when I was eight years old. I noticed that my day-to-day -day schedule was not like other kids. I noticed it with my brother and like with his friends and I will like start comparing it. Like they get to go out, they get to travel. And I had to go to a hospital and like just sit in a chair for like three, four hours. Dialysis is just uh, the process of cleaning the blood and basically do the work that a healthy kidney will do. You clean the blood from the waste products and replace the blood with the substances that will make the patient feel better. In New York, uh, after I got my transplant in 2011, my transplant lasted for four years. Um, in 2014, I lost the kidney. It was stressful because mom was pregnant with twins and she lost one with all the stress. Francis was diagnosed at 11 months of age with a malignancy of the kidneys called Wilms tumor. Francis received uh, her first kidney transplant at age six. Eventually, she rejected that kidney and had to go back to dialysis and she waited on hemodialysis till she was able to receive the second kidney transplant at age 10. Unfortunately, she also rejected that second kidney and had to go back on uh, hemodialysis. Francis is a very resilient person. She came to us like almost six years ago. She just turned 13 and Leaving New York and coming to Miami, it's a big change for her. But she was able to adapt to her new dialysis family. Frances gets two large board needles into her arm three days a week. She sits four to five to sometimes six hours in a dialysis chair. At the same time, she's doing homework with a dominant hand that doesn't have the needles in it. And you'll never hear a cry out of her. Nicholas have been like my second family because some events, they actually invite me and my family, like Carl and Prom, is for patients who are, not, who are not able to go to their regular high school prom. To me, it's important because I get to spend more time with my brother. I get to spend time with other patients who, who have also been invited to a prom. And it's like, it's a night where we can just forget about everything that's going on in life. Like we could forget about the hospital, we for can forget about the treatment, just like, just act like it's our last night. I see my daughter in her, so I have a soft spot for her because I, I see these kids and how resilient they are. And I wonder, can I, can I be as resilient as they are? Can I sit there and take these hours? Can I sit there and a nurse tell me, you can't have those french fries. You can't have that. Somebody making my decision for me. I don't know if I can do that, but yet she can do that. I'm so proud of Frances because she will be the first in her family to graduate high school and the first to go to college. If Frances had one wish. Restart my life again. Why? Just to live the moments that I've missed.
reality, I think more hit me the day that we had McKenna. When she was born, I got to see her for a few brief seconds in the delivery room, and then Brennan and her were whisked away to the NICU so that they could evaluate her. Um, so when we went to the doctor to find out if it was a boy or a girl, we weren't going to know. We didn't want to find out. They're going to give us the envelope. And then they noticed there was something wrong with the heart. So they um, ended up telling us at the appointment that we were having a girl, so we had some good news from the appointment. And then immediately that afternoon, we met with Dr. Drossner, the fetal cardiologist. So Drossner did his echo, and we found out that she had hypoplastic left heart syndrome, HLHS for short. And then from there, it was kind of hit us like a freight train. The only thing I really heard at that appointment was that she was going to be born with a heart defect. And then I didn't hear anything else. The room kind of just went silent. I took something that was so exciting and so was supposed to be the most happiest moment of my life and was the most terrifying moment of my life. Dr. Drossner told us about the heart team in Miami. And so we went down there and met Dr. Burke. I felt like a warmth with him and I felt comfortable in giving my daughter's life in his hands. He pretty much told us it's gonna be fine. He's like, we got this, don't, don't worry about it. The day that we delivered McKenna, we chose to deliver at Wellington, which was close to home. We scheduled a C-section uh, with my doctor, who was a rock star, and so I felt very confident during the delivery, but I was absolutely terrified. Reality more set in when I held McKenna for just a second, I showed her to Stephanie, and all of a sudden it was just like boom, boom, boom. And just before they left to go on the helicopter, I was able to see her in the recovery room in like a plastic container, and she had a breathing tube in, and um, you know there was all these paramedics around her, and then it was just a glance to say goodbye, and then they were gone in the helicopter. As soon as we got to Nicholas Children's, got her on the elevator, got down to the cardiac ICU floor, and then it was it was literally like I was watching my life in slow motion. I mean, it, it, it was insane. After I got discharged, I basically ran out of that hospital, and my mother-in-law drove me to Miami, and it was like the longest drive of my life. And uh, when I walked into the room, she was in like this little bed, with, like a little cute hat on, and she had the breathing tube in, and she was so little. I was almost afraid to even touch her because she had all this stuff hooked up to her. And um, I got to just like kind of hold her little hand and she would like hold my finger. And that was like the most contact that we had. McKenna is a miracle. McKenna was born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome. That's a mouthful, HLHS. But if you Google it, it makes you want to cry because it means a baby was born with half a heart. Most places in the world, those babies get put in a quiet corner of the nursery and they let them die, and they all die. Here at Nicholas Children's Hospital, if you're born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome and you have your operation here, you've got a 90% chance of making it through your first operation, 100% chance of making it through, through your second operation, and 100% chance of making it through your third operation. It was tough, but then Bert comes out and he shows you these pictures and he goes, this is what I did. This is the size of her heart compared to my thumb, which it was, it was, it was neat to see how transparent he is. When a baby like McKenna comes here, she becomes part of our family because we're not just opting her on her one day and sending her home. We know we're staging operations over her lifetime. I feel blessed that I was given the ability to do these operations and when I look at my babies and, and know how much I love them and how much I would do to keep them alive, it makes me happy that I can do that for these parents. And McKenna's always happy. She's running around the hospital. She's one of those irrepressible kids. The fun thing with McKenna is she never shows any symptoms that she has half a heart. You would never know upon first meeting her that she's had three surgeries. You would never know that she spent over 100 days in an ICU because she's always this like fun, crazy, outgoing burst of energy. My biggest message to the staff and to the doctors and the surgeons is 
you're the reason my daughter's still alive. And <sighs> we're very, very thankful and very blessed to be so close to Nicholas Children's. And we're only a two hour drive away. I mean, it takes a very special person to be able to do what they do every day. You can't thank these people, you can't thank them enough because every day you're reminded of what they've done for you. to say to the doctors and nurses that take care of me in this hospital, thank you so much for doing your job and helping me. so much for donating tonight. Please continue supporting patients like me. Sorry, what's that? I'm on, I'm on. Oh, I'm on, g'day everybody. My name is Jeff Cowan. Got my friend here. Welcome everybody to the 2020 Virtual Diamond Ball. This auction is gonna be benefiting the Children's Nicholas Hospital. 
It's my absolute pleasure to be here. And we're going to have a fabulous evening. You see on the screen, somewhere on the screen, you're going to see there's a countdown. We're going to be getting started very, very shortly. First thing you want to do is get yourself registered. There it is, right there. Get, get yourself registered because we'd love to get yourself registered. This is what you're going to do is go ahead, uh, text this word, one word, Nicholas Diamond Ball, believe it or not, Nicholas Diamond Ball to this number, 243725. Again, Nicholas Diamond Ball to 243725. There's some amazing silent auction items, some extraordinary live auction items, which I'll be telling you about later on. And you can donate as well. And we've already had so many people participate. We're going to have such a glorious evening. If you've been part of the previous 13 Diamond Balls, well, guess what? We're taking it virtually clearly, on the 14th, and we thank you so very much for being there. If you think about this extraordinary hospital dealing with, or I should say, truly caring and loving for over a quarter of a million children. You heard me correctly. 250,000 children are cared for every single year. And it is without a doubt that it's nights like this with people just like you that make that possible. And after the year that we've had, I mean, truly, there's never been a place more important the Nicholas Children's Hospital to take care of all those wonderful, beautiful children. And that's one of the great things about this event. So, first and foremost, with that platform where you're going to be texting to get yourself registered, you can put in your maximum bid. That means you can put in your maximum bid, sit back and relax, and just enjoy the evening. That's really, really important because you know what it's like on eBay. You put in a bid, you think, I'm fine, come back and boom, it's been outbid. Not on this platform, it's going to help you out so you can put in your maximum bid. So next thing you're going to be doing is with the live auction. I want to give you a bit of a, a I guess a little bit of an aperitif, if you like, with the live auction. So let's go ahead and bring up one of the full slides. Look at this! Car Lover's Ultimate five day, four night London experience for two. Now pictures are one thing. If we go, if there's another slide guys, we'll go to the next slide of this one because it'll tell you all about this. This is going to be taking you first class from Miami to England, right? First of all, first class. Then you get a private jet down to London. You have five days, four nights at the Shangri-La Hotel in the Shard, London. You have a Rolls Royce during your time in London. Why? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to take a private helicopter to the Rolls Royce and McLaren factories for a private tour. Have lunch with Rolls Royce and McLaren executive teams. And then, guess what? We've got dinner with Michael Fuex, who's gone ahead and gone ahead and done that. So that's fantastic. We've got another one, great package that's going to be coming up. Whatever you do, do not pass up on it. There's all sorts of goodies coming up on it. So get in on those live auction, get in on the silent auction, start your bidding. We're in for a beautiful evening, but don't go anywhere because you know what? I want to introduce you to a very special tool guide right now. This girl represents what the Nicholas Children's Hospital is all about. Here is the amazing, will I tell them right now? Maya. I'm Maya. I'm so happy you could join me today. I will be your host for today's tour of one of my favorite places in the whole world, Nicholas Children's Hospital. I'll tell you more about my story later, but first, I'm standing here at the entrance of the Advanced Pediatric Care Pavilion of Nicholas Children's, where all the magic begins. This beautiful six-story bed tower is here today because of support of friends like you. Nicholas Children's Hospital sees nearly a quarter million patients a year as the premier provider of all things health for kids like me in South Florida. We even serve kids from over a hundred countries around the world too. Our hospital is the only freestanding pediatric hospital in the region. If you've lived here in South Florida a while, you might know us by our previous names, Miami Children's or Variety Children's. The hospital just celebrated its 70th birthday. Can you believe it? 70 years? And today we are called Nicholas Children's in honor of a $60 million donation from the Nicholas Children's Healthcare Foundation, established by longtime supporters Jack and Barbara Nicholas. How cool is that? More fun facts. Our emergency department alone is one of the most visited ERs in the nation, seeing 90,000 patients a year. Other hospitals send really sick kids to our intensive care unit so they can get the very best care. The Life Flight Critical Care Transport Team brings about 4,000 children here, either by ambulance, helicopter, or even a fixed-wing airplane. Once they get here, these kids are in good hands. I know from experience. Our next stop is telehealth. Nicholas Children's Pediatric Virtual Care has been around since 2013, but as you might imagine, we have seen a huge increase since the COVID-19 pandemic. 
Come see our cool command center where doctors can do patient consults. Oh, hey, look, it's Dr. Aftab. Oh, hi, Maya. So good to see you. These are my new friends. They've come to see what Nicholas Children's is all about. Can you tell us more about telehealth? I know it's really popular lately. Sure. Telehealth is a very cool program at Nicholas Children's Hospital. It allows us to use sophisticated technology to do patient visits from their home. So using a phone or an iPad, you can connect with your doctor. We have 24 different pediatric specialists that are doing telemedicine visits. We went up to 30,000 visits just in the past several months, which is a 9,000% increase from prior year. Wow, that's so cool. See you around, Dr. Aftab. See you around, Maya. Now, let me take you to visit some of the other must-see areas of our hospital. Let's begin with the doctor who touches hearts in more ways than one. The heart program at Nicholas Children's is a leading cardiac program in the nation. It is home to the Cardiac Intensive Care Unit, which was the first cardiac intensive unit in the southeastern U.S. Follow me. Hey, Dr. Burke. Hey, Maya. What's up? Nothing much. Glad I caught you. Could you tell my friends here a little bit more about the heart program? Absolutely, Maya. The heart program provides care for children with congenital heart defects, some of the most complex defects in the world. You see, the congenital hearts are not like any other heart. Every heart is like a snowflake, completely different. So to plan these complex operations, we use some of the coolest technology in the world. 3D printing, augmented reality, everything we can get for an edge, we'll use. And a model like this helps us plan an operation so we can do it fast and gently. And that allows these hearts to keep on beating for a lifetime. And that's what we do every single day. That was amazing. Come on, let's go meet my friend Dan. Hey Dan, how are you? Hi Maya, I'm so glad to see you. You too. Want to share a little bit about your story with our new friends? Yes, hi, I'm Dan and I'm a patient at Nicholas Children's Hospital. When I was 11 years old, I was diagnosed with epilepsy and I came to see the staffs right here at the Brain Institute. Hey Dan, hey Maya. Hi Dr. Nazi. I was just telling our friends here about my little journey at Nicholas Children's Hospital. Would you like to tell us a little bit about what your team does here in the Brain Institute? Sure, here. I'd love to. So the Brain Institute is composed of the divisions of neurosurgery, neurology, neuropsychology, and genetics, allowing the ability to provide multidisciplinary care to children afflicted with neurological conditions. Two of the programs that we're regional leaders in are the epilepsy program as well as the neuro-oncology program. Our neurology colleagues are able to localize the foci of epileptic activity to allow us to be able to resect it effectively, and we can effectively use our intraoperative MRI machine to be able to resect brain and spinal cord tumors. Wow, thanks Dr. Niazi. I'll see you guys later. I have to go catch up with a friend of mine who always has my back. Bye. Next stop, the Spine Center. Nicholas Children's is one of the largest orthopedic providers for kids in Florida. Did you know that Nicholas Children's is not just a hospital? At our network of outpatient centers, we serve everyone from Martin County down to Monroe County. Hey, Dr. George, do you have a minute? Oh, of course, I always have a minute for you. I just wanted to stop by so you could tell some of our friends about all the th neat things you do. Absolutely. Here at the Nicholas Children's Spine Center, we see thousands of patients a year who come to us with potential spine problems. Diagnosis usually starts with evaluation and our low-dose EOS machine to help us figure exactly uh, what's going on with the patient. We do several hundred surgeries a year with our goal to get the patient back to doing exactly what they love. Wow, thanks for the info, Doc. I gotta run now. I'm late for meeting some of my best friends in the whole world. Okay, great. Well, don't let me hold you back. Get it? Hold you back? This is why he's a doctor and not a comedian. Anyways, let's go. There's so much more to see. Now I'm taking you to Sixth Tower, home of the Cancer and Blood Disorders Center. Here, doctors and nurses care for more kids with these health issues than any other facility in South Florida. They do lots of research and offer the latest interventions and therapies to help kids get better. Maya! Hey guys! I was just bragging to my new friends a moment ago about you guys. When I was nine years old, I was diagnosed with a really rare type of bone cancer, osteosarcoma. And ever since, I've been treated right here at Nicholas Children's Hospital. I can't begin to express the love I have for the doctors and nurses and everyone here at Nicholas Children's. 
who's always went above and beyond for me and my family. Finding out I was sick wasn't easy, but when you have a friend by your side who's going through the exact same thing, it's really special. Me and my best friend, Victoria. Hi guys. Victoria was diagnosed with osteosarcoma too. We came to the hospital on the same week. Yep, that's right. I'll never forget the first time I received a note from Maya. And from that day on, we became best friends. We did so many fun activities together here at the hospital. Maya was even there on my big day when I rang my bell to celebrate the end of my treatment. That's right. We played with the therapy dogs, did arts and crafts in the lobby, or right here on the sixth tower, joked around with the healthy humor clowns. And I went to my first baseball game. My all-time favorite was singing with our amazing music therapist, who always made me smile, even when I was sad. I'll always remember when I got to ring the bell too. Everyone was cheering me on. I love you guys. Well, that was fun. Speaking of fun, I have one more stop on our tour. I promise it will be worth it. Let's go. Going down. The hospital really does a great job to make us feel at home. My family even has a place to go to for extra support and comfort. And here we are, the Michael Fuchs Center. Are you ready for this? It has amenities like a kitchen, laundry, gym, business center, library, even a movie theater. So many things that make families feel better. I hope you saw how special this place is today. Remember when I mentioned the hospital turned 70 years old? Well, community support has always been an important part of Nicholas Children's, even from the beginning, when neighbors each donated one dollar towards the first building. Even this space here was possible because of donor support. Nicholas Children's serves some of the most underserved and uninsured families in the state, so we rely on community support from friends like you to continue providing the best care. Here's how you can help kids like me. Learn more and get connected and explore all the ways you can give back. Go to give.nicholaschildrens.org and thanks for coming along with me today. From all the kids at Nicholas Children's, thank you for making a difference. Bye. Good evening, everyone. Barbara and I are honored to welcome all of you to the Virtual Diamond Ball, an auction benefiting Nicholas Children's Hospital presented by City National Bank. While we wish we could all gather in person tonight, we're very excited that we're able to come together virtually to celebrate the amazing work that Nicholas Children's Hospital does every day for children and families in South Florida and beyond. This pandemic has reminded us of the things we hold dear, including the importance of supporting our frontline healthcare workers and the patients they care for every day. We could not be prouder of the medical advances made and the countless lives touched because of generous supporters like you. I've said it before, I want to emphasize it again tonight that helping these kids is a lot more important than any four foot putt I ever made. We truly believe that the legacy you leave here on earth is measured by the hearts you touch. So let's enjoy the evening, touch more hearts, and come together to support the patients and families that need us now more than ever. Barbara and I thank you from the bottom of our hearts and we look forward to the next opportunity that we can get together and celebrate the miracles happening every day at Nicholas Children's Hospital. And now, let me turn things over to Jason and Jeff to begin the night's program. All right, Barbara and Jack Nicholas, thank you so much. The hospital's greatest benefactors, thank you for your commitment and legacy to children in this community and so many others. My name is Jason Alpert, and this is my partner, Jeff Cowan, tonight. That is, but don't forget Steve Colbert here. Jason, Steven, Steve Colbert. Stephen Colbert. You see what he did there? Yeah, yeah. The three of us, Stephen Colbert, yeah. Jeff Cowan, and myself, Jason yeah. Alpert, yeah. would like to welcome you to the 2020 Diamond Ball. Woohoo! Right. I will tell you that our studio audience is small but proud. We have two Perfect. people here with us in the studio, and they're going to make sure that this is one heck of a good time. That's absolutely right. Ladies and gentlemen, we want you to get yourself registered. There's no doubt about that. We want to thank you so very much for tuning on in. It's going to be one fabulous evening. There's no doubt about that. But one of, one of the things when we say registered, I tell you what, much better we have someone, a real expert to you, or suggested to you, right here. Guys, why haven't you get on the BinPal app yet? It can help kids just like me. You guys need to take out your phones and get on the BidPal app, please. And thank you. 
All right. I mean, to, she's I'm not going to argue straight, with that. Right? You can't right? do that, right? No. I will tell you that how do you register? How do you make sure that you can have a full immersive experience? All you have to do is follow the instructions right here. Right Very here. simple, right? All you have to do is text Nicholas Diamond Ball with no spaces to 243 725. We're going to leave that up for a few times throughout the program to make sure you're registered. If you are registered, you're eligible for some prizes. We're going to pick a few prize winners throughout our program tonight, so please make sure you join us for those. And I will tell you, we understand that this is a sensitive time for so many. We're making sure that we're social distanced from each other. In right. fact, there will be times in the program where I will barely be able to hear you. I, do, no... do we not have a rim shot out yeah, there or something? Yeah, something. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of the things you will find on your device is there's going to be an opportunity to buy a limited ticket raffle, Jason. This is for, we, first of all, there's only 100 tickets on offer. Only 53 left. Only 53, 53 left. now remaining. Now get ready for this, couples and parents, because this is to Sandals Resorts. You get to pick one of 15 resorts. That's the prize. It's only $100 a ticket. It's for four, four days, three nights, Two people, all inclusive. Now, the Sandals Resorts, by the way, for the past 25 years, Jason and Bear, Stephen, <laughs> have won awards for the world's best all-inclusive resorts. So that's up for grabs right now. Again, 25, uh, no, would you say 53? Well, now it's 50. I'm watching 50. the number tick down there you as go. we go so here. So 50 tickets remaining. So there right. you go. Right. So you can get in on that. Understand all the bidding and all the donating and all the prizes, all the games are going to be done through the BidPal platform. Once you're registered, whether it's on your phone or your laptop or your smart TV, however you want to go with us tonight, please, all of it is done by registering and going to that information right there. So we hope you'll join us there. Just for registering, we're going to give away a couple of prizes tonight, yeah, right? that's right. Randomly selected from all the people who are registered. Our first prize is a two-night hotel stay at the Thesis Hotel in Miami with daily breakfast. Nice. A randomly selected name, and that name is... <laughs> She's scrambling for it now. Alina Menendez, Alina! congratulations. Well Alina done. Congratulations. Menendez, congratulations. You won our first prize. We'll make sure we communicate through, through to you through that BidPal platform to make sure you get your prize. Now, another thing we want, to, we want you to interact. Where are you watching from? Well, who are you watching with? We want to get on that social media war, right? I mean, that's a great way of being able to do it right here. The, the hashtag Nicholas Diamond Ball social media wall. Go ahead and send in. Because this is, I mean, this is the great thing about the virtual world. You could be watching anywhere across the planet right now. And I want to want, go ahead and thank the very special sponsor of this one, the Greenberg Truig, for going ahead and making sure that this is possible because that's what it's all about, is making sure we're part of this big, glorious family. And we will, throughout the night, scroll through that social media wall so we can show you all the people who are sending in their pictures. We want to see how many of you actually got in your gala best. Jeff and I did, right? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, our and friends here did. Stephen did, and little <laughs> ones did too. He's wearing nothing, by the way, nah, for those nah. who are watching, right? Right. But I will tell you, send in those pictures. Let us know you're having a great time watching our program here this evening. This program, of course, the Diamond Ball, couldn't happen without the sponsors that we have, and we have an amazing group of sponsors to lead us through the program tonight, led by our title sponsor. They are from City National Bank, and our good friend George Gonzalez. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the 900 team members at City National Bank, thank you for allowing us to be part of tonight's event. We're proud to be the presenting sponsor for this year's Diamond Ball, an auction benefiting Nicholas Children's Hospital. City National Bank has been a strong supporter of Nicholas Children's Hospital for many years because of their noble mission to provide children with the doctors, facilities, and innovations that give them the best chance for health and happiness in the future. Now more than ever, our community hospitals need us. We know our contribution will support much needed pediatric care, source necessary medical equipment, and provide vital personal protective equipment that saves lives. In addition, City National Bank just launched a $1 million code relief fund to help charities on the front lines of dealing with the pandemic and its impacts. The fund is focused on supporting our community hospitals, including Nicholas, addressing heightened food insecurity in our communities, and supporting organizations that help vulnerable groups, including the homeless. Although we're physically apart tonight, I am delighted to be part of this evening. Together, we can do so much to inspire health and healing for the children we serve across South Florida. Thank you for joining us in support of providing health care for children in our community. 
And George, thank you and to City National Bank, not only for what you all do for this event, but what you do throughout the entire South Florida community. Yeah, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. And in fact, when you think about the year that we've had, there were many businesses that didn't, didn't hesitate at all, Jason, when they want to go ahead and sponsor. We want to show you another video right now to recognize those sponsors who helped this year. We are so appreciative of all those sponsors who are with us for this virtual Diamond Ball. We look forward to them being with us for years to come at our in-person galas. And you never know, we may, the three of us, and we keep leaving this little guy out too, the four, <laughs> know, of, us, the four of us, joining them again some other time. Now, I know about those of you who've gone ahead and registered, I just want to let you know we're now down to about 30 of those sandal tickets remaining. So be aware of that. They're going to sell out before you know it. And thank you to those people who've already gone ahead and responded. Now, one other thing about the 2020 virtual diamond ball that's going to be benefiting the Nicholas Children's. I needed some help with the pronunciation, right, right of, the, of the virtual diamond ball. You're not from ball. around here. I'm not from right. around these parts, <laughs> right. Jason. I swam a long way <laughs> right. to get here this right. morning. And in fact, I've got a very special friend of mine, big old Ryder. Take it away, Ryder. How do I pronounce it? Diamond? Diamond ball. Diamond ball. Diamond ball. There you go. That's See, perfect. It's right? pretty easy. Right? right? It really is. In fact, how perfect would it be if we just said, Ryder, come on out. Take yeah. Jeff's place and <laughs> Jeff moves his way out there. Stage right. Right. Done. So I certainly think he has it. Now, I will tell you that we've talked a little bit about the sponsors and we've talked a little bit about so much of the activities that will be going on for about the next hour that we'll be with you. But I will tell you that not only for the many, many weeks and months and years leading up to this event, but it really is our board of directors who really is the driving force behind this organization and behind the hospital, the foundation, the health system. So we want to acknowledge them and thank, including the chair, Ricky Patel. This is our foundation board of directors, and you see them all shown there on the screen, all of them putting their time and their talent into making sure that this hospital continues to thrive no matter what the situation. Yeah, absolutely ph phenomenal. And it's not just for this event, but as Jason said, all through the year. So thank you for your support. We'd now like to show you a video of the people who've been steering the ship, if you like, for the, both the foundation and the Nicholas Children's Health System. Here they are. Thanks, guys. My name is Matt Love, and I'm the president and CEO of Nicholas Children's Health System. And I'm Michelle Boggs, president of Nicholas Children's Hospital Foundation. We want to thank you for joining us tonight for this important cause to support our patients and families. While many things around us are at a constant change, we find comfort in knowing some of the things remain the same. The strength and resilience of our healthcare heroes, our amazing staff at Nicholas Jones Hospital, who serve on the front lines. And the continued love and support of generous individuals such as yourselves, who have made it possible to come together, pull through difficult times, and bring out the best in our community. This year marks an important milestone in the history of Nicholas Jones Hospital. We celebrate 70 years of providing world-class pediatric care to kids across South Florida and beyond. Our 70-year legacy is possible in part because of friends like you. This is our 14th year of hosting the Diamond Ball. Normally we would celebrate in person with hundreds of you gathered alongside of us to celebrate patient successes while raising funds for the hospital. But with COVID-19 taking the world by surprise this year, your health and safety is our top priority. Tonight, we are proud to bring you our first ever virtual diamond ball, an auction benefiting Nicholas Children's Hospital. Before we go any further, let's take a quick look back at last year's diamond ball, which raised record funds for mental health. 
One of our amazing patients is going to share how those funds have supported patient care for kids like her. Mariah, take it away. Thanks. Hi, I'm Mariah. You might remember me from my speech at last year's Diamond Ball. Did you know about 20% of kids suffer from a mental illness? Now with COVID-19 impacting families everywhere, that will likely change. Since March, Nicholas Children's has provided more than 20,000 telehealth visits and counting. At least a third of these doctor visits were related to mental health. Now looking back, the $2 million raised for mental health at last year's event was more important than we even knew at the time. Here's how those funds went to work and are helping patients like me. The Nicholas Children's Psychiatry and Psychology Departments have expanded in exciting ways. That means more trained staff to meet the increase in demand, more outpatient services, including rehabilitation, greater access to care for underserved and underinsured patients, and finally, we are still working on space upgrades and renovations at the hospital. Thank you again for making a difference for kids like me. Back to you, Mr. Love and Ms. Box. Thank you, Mariah. It's another important year for Nicholas Jones Hospital as we navigate through the challenges brought on by this global pandemic. At Nicholas Children's, I am proud of our team's ability to adapt in a rapidly changing world with new safety measures, a coordinated response with neighboring health systems, and transforming how we do business to always keep our patients and families first. Let's take a quick look at COVID-19's impact on our hospital this year and where we are today. Nicholas Children's Hospital continues to respond to the healthcare needs of our community during this pandemic. We coordinated our pandemic response with neighboring health systems, applied enhanced sanitation and safety measures, implemented COVID-19 testing and temperature screenings, and shored up supplies, including personal protective equipment. In all, we spent an additional $3 million to meet urgent needs. Like many U.S. children's hospitals that at one point were pacing to lose an average of $1 million a day, Nicholas Children's has faced similar financial challenges. This year, Nicholas Children's received critical support that partially offset this year's revenue loss. That support came through the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act, commonly known as the CARES Act. Still today, the pandemic continues to pose unique challenges that are likely to affect us for months to come. Now more than ever, community support of Nicholas Children's Hospital helps us always keep children first. Keeping children first is our promise to the community, today and always. I'm Dr. Chad Perlin. And I'm Dr. Maria Franco. It is a pleasure to be here. The pandemic has shown us that we are all in this together. And because of a shared passion and gratitude, amazing things happen when we team up to help one another in times of need. We are grateful for the community support we have received so far this year. This includes several transformative gifts supporting COVID-19 relief from our partners at the Miami Dolphins, City National Bank, and our incredible champions, Jack and Barbara Nicholas. We are also grateful for our dedicated colleagues on the front lines who never skip a bit in caring for patients through COVID-19. It is a special tribute to our healthcare heroes sponsored by CVS Pharmacy and Navarro. Take a look. As the year began, none of us imagined our community would become an epicenter of a fast spreading global pandemic. It has been a turbulent year as we have worked together to adapt to ever-changing guidance and circumstances. For the first time in my career, I was faced with something that was not only unknown, but that I also felt like I was vulnerable to. I have four children at home, and you try to distance yourself from your family when you do come home. You know, my, my whole thing was I needed to get home, get into the laundry room, take all my clothes off, shower, completely disinfect myself before I even saw any of my, my family. And um, in addition, I have two elderly parents uh, that live very close to me, who my mother used to come every day. They're 85, both of them. And my father has Alzheimer's, and they used to come every day to see the kids, and I told them they couldn't because of my job. So it was tough. You know, I couldn't see them. 
despite all the challenges and the issues that we've had with this pandemic, I think uh, globally it forced clinicians to think about patients not as individuals only, but as part of population and to provide the type of care that we need to treat the patient and the population that they're part of. I mean, you, we've seen it all around, like how the city rallied around people and how like at the beginning of all this, like we were getting like food deliveries to say thank you from people and not that like we needed the food or anything like that. It was just so nice to feel like everybody was in this together, like we can overcome this, we can get through it kind of thing. And it does feel good, at least from that standpoint. At the end, you do learn a lot from having to deal with a situation which is not usual and the way that you deal with it makes you better. It, it keeps you humble. It reminds you that there's so much we just don't know. Every dollar raised tonight directly benefits the Nicholas Children's COVID-19 Relief Fund. This support helps us to continue to shore up supplies, provide testing, and ensure we have the extra staff and services in place to address this pandemic head on until it is behind us. Ultimately, this relief lets us focus on hope and healing. I know you'll be inspired by one of the stories of our patients, Gabriel, later in the program. The most important takeaway of the night is this. We can't do what we do without people like you at events like this, helping raise much needed funds for our patients. So as we head into the fundraising part of the program, let's come together to raise up our kids. Remember to bid high and bid often. Back to you, Jason and Jeff. Truer words have never been spoken. <laughs> bid high and bid often. Matt and Michelle, thank you so much. Absolutely, Luke, thank you very much. We've got a, I'm gonna give you right now, I know you might find this a bit alarming, but a four minute warning to the close of the silent auction. Yeah, many of you have been bidding for a full week in yeah. this auction, right? But ultimately this is the last four minutes you have to get into the bids in the silent auction. This is also your last opportunity to buy your way into our special drawing for that Sandals Resort stay. Two dozen left, by the way. Only 24 left. 24 tickets remaining to get, get away. So go ahead and grab that 100 tickets were only sold anyway. We've got 24 remaining. $100 could take you away to Sandals. Now, Great thing about this platform, Jason, put in your maximum bid right now. Put that maximum bid on the platform right now. Do your calculations. You know, from advice from us, maybe add 50% to what you thought you were, or maybe 100% to what your maximum bid or might be. Or 150, 150%. Or, or 150, <laughs> we might go up in increments. But let, let's touch on, can we touch on a couple of goodies? We can. Uh, the first goodies I want to mention, though, are the items with no bids. There are ah. still some items in our silent auction that have no bids Absolutely. on them yet. So there's actually a drop-down menu where you can pick, once you go to browse items, all you have to do is go to items with no bids and help us sell out this entire auction. So please work on that. But we do have some great items I want yeah, to talk about. Yeah, we absolutely about. do. In fact, look, I want to go ahead and touch on this for the kids. This is going to be item number 608. I was looking at this earlier, and I, unfortunately I don't qualify. But this is for uh, the WSVN TV. That's Channel 7, right? This is for a kid to go ahead and shadow a anchor or the meteorologist for the day, right? They get to go down there, they get to go into the studio, of course with you know, COVID restrictions, everything in there, but it's gonna be absolutely phenomenal. Get to meet reporters, the sports anchors, all those sorts of things and get in there. It's for a kid, because we have a, you know, could have a budding Katie Couric that's already <laughs> right, waiting to go, right? Right. Out there in the midst right now. So go ahead and grab that. I believe it's $1,100 right now. So get your bids in there because as you said, it's gonna close very shortly. And there's great ways to continue searching these as well. So please look up these items as we're talking about them. We're waiting to get the signal here in the studio that the silent auction is now closed. Yep. So we're gonna make sure that we let you all know, but you'll know because your bidding device is gonna tell you that everything is closed. We also wanna talk about the Tory Birch package. Usually when I say Tory Birch package, everyone goes, ooh. ooh. Thank you, right? People get excited about Tory ooh. Birch. But but this is not just a $2,000 gift card to Tory Burch. That in itself would be pretty amazing. But this is also a virtual meet and greet with a designer from the store. Then you go into the store with three friends. You get a private fashion show in their upstairs parlor, right? Right. So you want a great opportunity to get out and you want a great opportunity to have that Tory Burch experience. And oh, by the way, a $2,000 gift card yeah. to the store. Oh, by the way. This is the package for you. So Absolutely. check that one out. This is for four people, the Tory Burch experience on your silent auction. 
Now, we want to go ahead and just go ahead and do a bit of a media check right now. But that's of course those of you out there that have been on there, remember the hashtag, go ahead and send in your photos and where you're heading from. This is what it's all about right now, as we said there. So hashtag Nicholas Diamond Ball, social media wall. Thank you so much as we scroll down there. Look at all these interactions. Thank you so very much to Tom and Frank and to the Smiths that are going to be watching out there as well over in Texas. Oh, my goodness. Such a fantastic collection. Look at that staff, hardworking staff there. Though. So, again, Nicholas Diamond Ball. Go ahead, put the hashtag Nick Nicholas Diamond Ball, and we get straight into that as well. Now, as you're watching these videos and as you're watching the social media wall and as you're talking about these social uh, silent auction items, we do want you to continue remembering about the kids because that's really what it comes down to, right? The kids who are most impacted by the money that were raised for the COVID relief fund, right? We want you to take a peek one more time at one of our kids here at Nicholas Children's. Thank you for joining this year's Diamond Ball. We appreciate all your efforts and everything for donating and to continue supporting patients like Jaya. We appreciate all you do. Go, Mama. I mean, that'll melt your heart just watching that right Absolutely there, right? Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I believe the silent auction is now officially closed. The silent auction is now closed. Silent auction is now officially closed, uh, which also means that the uh, raffle tickets will also be closing very shortly as well. The opportunity drawing is now done, and I will tell you, what we move to now is the live auction. Now, a lot of people are like, listen, what are we doing here? It's a virtual event. How are we doing a live auction? Well, it's Don't just like the silent auction. The difference between a silent auction and a live auction in this format is that the silent auction we had open all together at once, we closed out everything all at the same time. In the live auction, we are going to bring up that one particular item. We're going to talk about that item. We've got this wonderful screen here in front of us that will show us who our top bidders are, who our underbidders are. We will acknowledge everyone who has bid to this point. We will call them out. We'll thank them. We will acknowledge them. We'll see if we can get some bidding back and forth against each other. Then we are going to put a 30-second counter here in the studio. And that will tell us when this item is closed. It will not be up to us to announce when it is closed. Right. The BidPal mobile bidding platform will close it. And whoever is our top bidder at that point, we will then say congratulations, you've just Remember won. what Jason said earlier, too, about the latency between where we say it here and when it arrives your device and whether you're mirroring it onto, onto a TV or you're watching on a separate device, know that there's going to be some delay. So that maximum bid is so very important. So you know what? We should probably get started. We would. The three of us are ready for you to take the yeah, first Sorry, one. I'll go and Let's take go. it. Okay, so this is actually going to be item number 15. You'll find this item number one. 5, 15, and this is none other than we. I, I like to refer this as bye bye 2020, but this is in fact a stock your liquor. No, 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 no. It's a they restock the bar, right? Oh, For restock. those of you who have, no, we don't need to stock it. It was stocked. It needs to be restocked, right? <laughs> That's so true. Since March, it's been wiped out. But guess what? We're going to restock, and we're not just going to restock this with just ho hum stuff. We're talking top shelf, 33 bottles. In fact, some of these bottles are worth. 150, 200, 250, 300, 350 dollars each. We've got red wine, white wine, champagne, tequila, whiskey, you name it. Now, it's been popular, Jason, surprisingly. <laughs> it's been very, very popular. I'll tell you that the opening bid was at $1,000, but I can tell you right now, that has been well and truly outbid at this stage. Right, so Ali started at $1,000, but well I don't think Allie. anyone thought for a minute that Ali was gonna win this for no, $1,000. No, but she kept coming in there. I see Ali, I see Jim, I see Jose has jumped in as well. If we keep scrolling down, we're already at $4,000 now. Jose's been very, very thirsty. You can see that Jim Steiner's coming back in. So right now, if we, is that all the way to the top there, Pam? Oh, no. no. Oh, no. No, we're still going. Larry to George is right now my top bidder at $6,500. Now, I will let you know that it's a $250 increment. So, therefore, if we're at $6,500, from what I see in front of me, we're looking for $6,750 right now. I'll remind you, and I'm going to tell you some of the sumptuous, delicious goodies that are in here as we look at these. If this jumps up, Jason, let me know. And before you read those off, though, I do want to acknowledge Amy Charlie got in, and she's been doing a few bids uh, yeah. sporadically throughout these top bids Amy, at this point. Amy, in so. the back room, she may be at the back <laughs> of the house right now. Amy, you better come and get, come back and get yourself to the top of the list, because Larry is right there at the very top. So, yeah, come on in. So, we've got some McLaren 12 years old. This one here is at $135. The Dalmore, 18 years old, at $265. We've got a beautiful Cardigo Tequila, 1530. That's valued at $300. These is, and by the way, the board has supplied all of these glorious drinks that are in here as well, including some amazing red wines. In fact, there are six reds in here, this beautiful claret, 
The total value of that is over seven hundred dollars. It's in there right now. We got now. a new bidder now. Well at done, Jose's back in at sixty-seven fifty. Well done. So my next bid I'm looking for is seven thousand dollars. We're going to be closing this very shortly, so be aware of that. So I'm looking for seven thousand dollars for this, and I'm going to tell you, barely coming to the cost of the entire package right now, because I can tell you, when you're talking about bottles that are valued at one hundred and fifty-two, two fifty-three, three hundred and fifty dollars, it adds up very, very quickly with thirty-three bottles. It does. And I will tell you, Jose was one that was bidding much earlier. Well done, Kinda Jose. Kind of took a step back for a little while, and no. Jose's back right now. So back. Jose is currently our top bidder. We're going to see if Larry or Amy comes back and see if they can outbid him one Come time. Come in and grab this right now. So, regardless of what you're looking for, looking to restock right now, we got a new one, Ricky, Ricky Patel. Ricky Patel back in at $8,000. Well done, oh, Ricky. R Ricky ain't messing Ricky, around. Well done. R Ricky well done. went from $67.50, where we were looking for $7,000. I would love Ricky to come to all my events because that's right. one of the things. I don't want $250 increments. Ricky, if you're thirsty, you should get this pack. There's no no doubt about that. But don't be put off by the fact that Ricky's at the top, everyone, because again, at 82.50, it's going to be yours. So again, 33 bottles. I'll tell you, there's some Dom Perignon Illuminated. This Dom Perignon Illuminated, it's valued at $270. That's in there. How about some reds in there? Uh, the Far Nignet, 94 uh, Cabernet, $250. Stagnion Estate, two bottles at $100 in there. We've got a Stag's Leap Pine Ridge, 2014, $135. We're at $8,000. I'm going to put a 30 second clock on this right now. I'm going to put a five Final 30 seconds, and again, remember that we're going to have to wait for, of course, the computer to notify us and to verify, if you like, or confirm who's going to be the winner. And you know what it's like on eBay. You can have a bid on there for three and a half weeks. In the last five seconds, 45 people come and jump inside you, right? So right now I can see in front of me that Ricky does have the, the, the highest bid right now at $8,000. But as again, you can jump on in and beat, beat that out straight away. Because again, once this is closed, we'll let it know, we'll move on, and then we'll come back and notify who's confirmed. And that's what we're going to do. We're just waiting here in the studio. This restock your bar. Again, the 33 bottles of high-end top shelf spirits and fine wines. Folks, your board of directors all got together and said it was almost a competition between the two of them. Right. right. The two of them, excuse me, the 20 plus of them. <laughs> right. To all come together and say who's going to bring the nicest bottle. Right. And they did it upright. Some right. of them brought in one bottle high end, some of them brought a dozen bottles, an entire case of wine to donate to this auction lot. So I will tell you that it is oftentimes at the auctions that we do, wine and liquor, they right. do pretty well, they right? They do very, very well. And whoever wins turns out to be really popular very quickly too. That's the other thing, particularly as we come into this holiday season. So right now I can be seeing right now that we've got, we do have a winner. Are we closed? Are we closed? All right. We, we are, are closed. closed. All right. So it looks like at the last moment, Ricky got snuck in under the radar with a new By winning By Larry. Bidder. By Larry to George, yes? So, the winning bid I see on here was $8,250. We are sold. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> wow. Listen, Congratulations. Marilyn's rocking the bell over there. She's yeah, so excited to hear ring that? that bell. I love that. I love to see it. All right. Let's move on to our next live auction lot. This next auction lot comes to us from another one of our board members, a foundation board member, that being Oscar Feldenkrais. And what Oscar not only does, in addition to his role as a board member of the foundation is he is the CEO of Perry Ellis International. And he's put wow. together a Be a Celebrity Experience. This is for two people. You're going to become a supermodel for the day. This is Jeff doing his strut, right, on the catwalk. This is the Perry Ellis supermodel photo shoot. You're going to get a three to five hour experience with professional hair and makeup. He's not going to have a hair experience. Um, we're going to have, yeah, you're going to have the opportunity to pick out and keep the clothes from your photo shoot. And you're going to have a Zoom call with Perry Ellis International CEO and President Oscar Feldenkrais, right? So you're really going to get the experience. This is not only a great opportunity to be a supermodel for the day, what a great networking opportunity to get some of Oscar's time. Right. But then you want to keep living the life of a celebrity? We're going to put you up for three days and two nights in an ocean view room at the Lowe's Miami Beach and a two-day rental of just another car. Yeah, right? just any old car. In fact, you get a choice, a title Rolls-Royce Dawn or a Lamborghini Hurricane Spider. Yeah, that's I mean, pretty come awesome, on. right? So you're going to be cruising around South Beach, driving your Rolls, driving your Lambo. You're going to have that photo shoot. You're going to have your hair and makeup. You're going to get the clothes that are in the photo shoot. That Zoom call is all in. We started the bid on this at $1,000. We're waiting to see. We've got some bids coming in now. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue to watch those bids that have come in. And understanding that this is your opportunity to be treated like a superstar, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I mean, everything, it, there's going to be no stone left unturned because obviously as this has been organized by the very, very top of Perry Ellis, as you can see here, you've got this supermodel shoot, right? You're going to go in. You're going to have a stylist. You're going to be able to pick your outfit. Pick that outfit. They're going to sit you down. You're going to do the makeup. You're going to do the hair, right? Then you go in for the shoot. And don't think this is overwhelming. This is going to be nothing flat, flat up but fun, right? right? To be able to do that. Not to mention be able to keep the wardrobe at the end. And by the way, just so they know too, by the way, 
Jason, both the Miami Beach stay over and, and of course the, the car rental, you can use those separately. Yeah. I mean, whoever wins this can use this as they wish. Right. And I would just love at some point for you to get one of these, like our friend Stephen Colbert here, and put him in the passenger seat. Yeah. Right. And just drive around up and down as well. Just so I want to check right, make sure, is $1,000 our top bid right now? Yes, yeah, so we have a $1,000 top bid. These are $250 increments. So the next bid that we need is a $1,250 bid. Folks, that is enough just for the hotel and the car rental right. only by itself. Maybe. So is there a $1,250 bidder out there? What we're going to do is we're going to put that 30-second counter on this one right now. And understand that when that 30 seconds is up, we will be alerted as such, and we will announce who the winner is at that point. So I want you all just to think about it at this point, right? It is the Perry Ellis celebrity experience for two people. You could split this, you and another girlfriend, you and another guy friend, want to be supermodels, whatever it may be. You get up there, you're going to have the photo shoot, the hair and makeup, you're going to be treated like the supermodel. You're going to get to keep the clothes, you're going to have that Zoom call with Perry Ellis. I will also tell you that you're going to have the three day, two night stay in the Ocean View room, the way that the celebrities live, right? Of and course. it's not just any room. South Beach. It's not just any room. You know no, what no. kind of room it is? No. Ocean View. Ocean View. You know how I know? I love Ocean View. It says it there it on the screen, there. right? Right. And then it's that, that two day rental of the Rolls Royce. I see it there, Pam. So, what we're going to do is we're going to give you the opportunity to really be treated like only Perry Ellis can do it. That's absolutely right. So, remember just that $250. And I'll give you a, a little number here right now because remember, every single dollar counts right now. This is a fundraiser. This fundraiser has been going on for 14 years. So every dollar that comes in right now is going to benefit the children, most importantly, with the COVID-19 that's been going on this year and, of course, the way that they've proactively been helping it. Telemedicine, as we heard in one of those introductions, has been so vitally important. I'll tell you that $50 is just one session. So every time we see another $50 comes in, it means another session. Because, again, with that telemedicine, do you realise they raised it by over nearly 9,000% yeah. during that course of just three months? They saw, saw, saw something like 30,000 additional people or didn't see them right. personally because well, it was telling them, right, right. right. But Amazing. It, is, it is certainly a different world that we live in right now. And right. all the money that we raise here goes to those COVID-19 um, improvements and COVID-19 incentives that we're able Absolutely. to provide. So what we do have is we do have a sold item on this Be a Celebrity for the day. Well done. The final sell price was $1,750. Wow. So we got some action there at yeah. the end. Yeah. Our winner is Drew Kern. Woo! We are sold. Thank you from Nicholas Children's well Hospital. Well done, Drew. Congratulations. All right. We're going to get, you're going to get all doled up. And we're going to go ahead and hit the links right now because we're going to get out there with Golf, but not just golf with anybody. Not even with Jace <laughs> or with Stephen Colbert. We're talking about Alonzo Morning. That's right. We are talking about the Heat Star. So this is going to be for you, two others, and Alonzo Morning. You're going to Turnberry Isle to play golf. Now, this is phenomenal. And, of course, those of you in, in Miami know about Alonzo, right? Number 33. It's been retired for some time. NBA star from 2006. I should champion of 2006. All-star 94 to 97. 2000, 2002. Def defensive player of 99 and 2000. And, again, an absolute amazing guy. And right now, the vice president of player programs and development at the heat continuing. So it's going to be a fascinating day, not to mention seeing this massive frame of a man knock a ball straight down the centre of the field, or down the fairway. Right. The field could be down the other one. So we had an opening bid of $1,099. Wait, wait, so what's David Drosner doing to us, right? He has to understand yeah. that auctioners, we like nice round even numbers. Yeah, no, he tried but to do that purposely. you can put whatever bid you want in your mm, bidding device. Thanks, so we David. asked for a $1,000 bid to start. Thank David you, David. David said, I'm going to go $1,099. Yeah. And now you got to do your math, right? Now I'm going to do my maths. In fact, <laughs> right. what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the maths from my device because it will <laughs> tell me what the next, next bid is. So right now I've got a 15 four, no, 1599 This is from Michelle and Ryan. So guess what, Michelle and Ryan Boggs? You've got the opening, the highest bid right now, but I'm looking for 1849 is going to be my next bid. So for that, those of you sitting out there saying, what, I get to play with Alonzo Morning, not just going to be talking to you on the phone? No, 18 holes at Turnberry Isle, by the way. Yeah which is no little slouch course. I mean, this is a beautiful course, foursome including three golfers and the legend Alonzo on the golf course for 18 holes. And it's for three people. So I want you all to think, listen, it'd be nice for you to buy it and invite two of your friends, but I think there should be some people on their phones quickly saying, listen, we want to go together. We want to go in on this together. Here's how much we're each willing to spend, not only to go to golf with Alonzo Morning, but also to have the opportunity to support Nicholas Children's Hospital. So we still have that top bid of $1,599. That's right. We're still waiting for the next bid to come in at this point. Of $1,849, that's right. $1,849 will get this opportunity. Remember, not only is it an amazing opportunity, 
but I want to remind you as to where the dollar's going. Every single dollar of this is going to be going back towards the hospital, this hospital that we love, the hospital that does so much for our community, the hospital that does so much for over 250,000 children, like we saw with Maya earlier, what we saw with Ryder. We're now up to $2,099. Thank you so one. much, Zach. Zach. Well done. Well done, Zach. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh my device because that's going to go ahead and tell me what my next increment <laughs> is going to be, and I appreciate that so much. So I'm now looking for 27, uh, 2750. 2750, which yeah, we've we must jumped have up. another we've jumped bid up coming again. in, right? See, I Let's love check my this devices one. keeping the me up. The bogs have come back the again. The bogs are back. And look what they did for us. You see what they did for us? Bogs, thank you 2, so much. 2500, make thank it so you easy. so much. Right? I really, <laughs> Michelle and Ryan, I appreciate it wholeheartedly. So right now we're at $2,500. So we're going to get close to about a 30-second clock. we got a new bid now. 3000 they're back in. Michelle and Ryan, well done. Don't be, you know what? I mean, Mr. Patel did a great job earlier with really just blowing the competition out of the water. If you want to do that, Michelle and Ryan, make sure you absolutely have this. I just put in a maximum bid right now. In fact, we're going to put a 30-second clock on right now. We're going to go ahead and close this off. And remember, that's how we're going to be doing this. We're then going to get confirmation from our incredible assistant, Pam, here on the set to let us know that it has officially closed. But I'll remind you, for those of you who've sat very patiently watching your eBay bid get outbid in the last few seconds, don't let that happen. So, Michelle and Ryan, don't let it happen. If we go back to the top bidders again, please, Pam. Okay, so I'm still at... Three thousand dollars, that right? Yep, three thousand dollars. I'm looking for. Yep, thirty-two fifty. But I'll remind you as well. Think about yeah. it because you are golfing with South Florida sports um, icon, right? right? You talk about Absolutely. the Mount Rushmore of. South Florida sports, <laughs> Alonzo right. Mourning's going to be right up there, right? Right there, right. absolutely. Right. And that's one of the things. I mean, they don't retire a jersey for nothing. I mean, such a formidable force. Went away from the heat, came back to the heat. 2006 uh, NBA champion, absolutely phenomenal. So we're still at right now at $3,000. We're going to be having it close you off very shortly and do not miss out on it. And the same can be said with the ones that we haven't closed off because remember, as you, can, as you noted, we've got six live auction items. Each are going to be closed individually like we're doing right now. So if this golfing trip is not for you right now, maybe the next package that we have coming up. Maybe the ultimate car experience, which is going to be coming up at the tail end. Kentucky Derby is also coming up right now. So we're finished. We're done. It's Guess closed what? Out. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll say going once, going twice, going three times. You beauty sold to Ryan Bond's big bell. Bell? bell. Where's bell, your bell? Bell. Thank you. For $3,000. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Michelle and Ryan, very much. All Congratulations right. for all your generosity and all it will do for the Nicholas Children's Hospital. Thank you. Now, our next package is once again a golf package, right? But this is not just any golf. This no. is the Dormy Golf Experience, the Dormy Network, right? Yeah. The Dormy Network, and we're going to go over the courses in just a moment, but I want to let you know what you're going to get before you start hearing about the courses. The Dormy Golf Weekend is for unlimited golf for two days. So this is a two-day trip. We're going to give you luxury accommodations, but over those two days, you can play as many holes of golf as you can get in, from sunrise to sunset. The greens fees, the cart fees are all in there. The luxury private cottage and accommodations with four master suites. So when you go with four people, you're each going to have your own individual master suite while you're there. And oh, by the way, it comes with 360,000 American <laughs> Airlines what? miles, right? So if you want to fly business class to these different locations, you can do so. If you want to fly coach and save some of those miles, you can do that as well, because look where you will be headed off to. You can play at Arbor Links or Bally Hack or Briggs Ranch or Hidden Creek or Victoria National. Folks, gorgeous private golf courses that you can't get on anywhere without a package like this or without a private membership. So. Once again, you will get to choose which one of the places you want to go travel to. You want a guy's trip, you want a girl's trip, you want a guy's and girl's trip, whatever you want it to be. This is a great weekend getaway. It is not only the unlimited golf for two days, it is the accommodations and the luxury suites with four master suites, and then it is 360,000 American Airlines miles. So as we look down here and we want to see who our first bidder is, we're waiting to see if we can get a bid on this auction item at this point. So the Dormy Golf Weekend Trip for four, Five different courses you get five to choose from. Courses, five different courses. So let me just recap exactly what you're getting here. First of all, you get to choose from five courses. You can get to them as far as Nebraska because you've got three, over 300,000 points to use for you and your three guests that you're going to take along to this. You get a one-night luxury accommodation. Each of you get a suite to stay in. But most importantly, you can play all the golf you can in two days on these amazing courses because not only are they beautiful courses, not only do they have incredible undulation, there's an idea for 
for, for Florida, as opposed to dead flat <laughs> right. and just water and, and a couple of gators. No, we're talking about hills. That's right, hills, people. Maybe even a mountain or two. All That's right, we got playing. a bid in here we're right in now. Bell. Chet Desai is well in done, with a $2,500 bid, right? Well done, so well done. He's opened up at $2,500. And I think the other thing I want to make sure that we get in here as well is yeah. that this doesn't expire until a year from today. So uh. there's certainly plenty of time to travel. You'll have plenty of opportunities to travel and take this trip December 3rd, 2021. Absolutely. So lots of options in there, but most importantly, for because the other thing is, I was going to say, not only is it beautiful, the courses and where they are and where they're located, these private courses that you just can't get onto, but it's who's designed them. I mean, we're talking top echelon designers that are out there. Palmer's designed these courses, some of these courses. Yet there's an extraordinary opportunity to be able to get out there and really challenge for those of you who've been down here in Florida and say, you know what, I need a little bit of a challenge in my life. So, so right now we have a $3,000 bid, folks. Well but we're talking about for four people here right now, right? Right. So we got to get this up to at least $4,000 with an understanding that I'll do the math there for you. If we get four people yeah, in at $4,000, it's $1,000 a person, right? Wow. So we currently have a $3,000 bid. We're taking them $500 at a time. So we need somebody to go $35. We're going to look down here at our screen one more time and see who's going to get in at 3500 We don't have anybody at 3500 quite yet, but we are going to take some time now to put that 30-second counter on. Uh -oh. When that 30-second counter goes on, I'll tell you again, don't wait. Put in a max bid. Get ready to bid because I have a feeling there's golfers who are sitting at home with their fingers on those right. buttons and they're ready to go but I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't trust the Wi-Fi. I wouldn't trust your cell phone no. signal. I wouldn't trust your internet, no. whatever it may be. Do not wake up tomorrow wishing that you'd hit that button sooner. Put it that way. That's a lot, a lot of these items that we have here. They're one-off opportunities. We don't have two. There's just one. We're not going to say surprise. We have another one. So if you want this, you better grab it right now. Because again, when you have an event, for the Nicholas Children's Hospital, you get access. You get incredible access, like it is to the Dormy Golf Weekend. Again, for four people, unlimited golf at one of these five courses around the country. We will get you there because you get an American points. Again, over 300,000 points to fly with. Absolutely beautiful overnight accommodation in a private cabin with the suites on there. So you've got everything you possibly need. So make sure you get your bid on there because, as, once again, if you miss out on this, you truly are going to wake up very, very regretful tomorrow. Right. We've had some auctions before where we've auctioned off just 360,000 American right. Airlines miles. Right. But you know what? Oh, do we have somebody slide in? So, Barrett, confirm our winning bidder is Chet, correct? Yes, our winning bidder with a $3,000 oh. bid is Chet Desai. We are sold. sold. Thank you from Nicholas Children's Hospital. Congratulations. Well done on that one. Now, <laughs> that's supposed to be a trumpet or a bugle. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's about as good as it's going to yeah, get. I mean, right. we got the bell, right? <laughs> right? we got the bell. We're that's talking Kentucky about Kentucky Derby. The Kentucky Derby. We're talking about one of the most prestigious sporting events on the planet. Even in Australia, we knew about the Kentucky Derby, right? What about Wimbledon? What about the US Open? What about, yo? Know, Augusta, right? These are of the same material. This is for two people, either in 2021 or 2022. So when you, when you want to go up there to Kentucky, we are going to get t take care of you. So thank you for having this full screen. First of all, two tickets to Kentucky Derby itself, which, by the way, is always the first Saturday in May. But it's not going to start there. That's just, that's just part of it. You're also getting two tickets on the Kentucky Oaks Day on the Friday. Now, you'll notice both of these tickets, both on the Saturday and the Friday, are absolutely VIP. Third floor, clubhouse, between the last turn and the finish line. Why do you want to be there? Because that's where the action happens. They talk about the, the most exciting two minutes in the sporting history is when we talk about the, the running of the roses, which is what they nicknamed this. Two tickets to the Barnstable Brown Gala. Thank you very much. Because we're not just going to send you the races. No, no, no. We're talking about a <laughs> full-time event. And then where will you stay? Not in the stables. No. The Gold House Hotel. Three nights, four days, and then how are we going to get you there? 180,000 American Sky Miles to get you there in luxury. So again, Kentucky Derby, for those of you saying, I've always wanted to do that. Now's your opportunity. And think about it. When they say, and down the stretch they come, oh, yeah. the stretch they're talking about is right where you're going to be sitting, that right. last turn at that finish line, right. right? And we had that bid starting at, what do we have it? at $7,500 where we started it. Yep. We've had a lot of action on this. We've had then, a lot right? of action on this one, and well done for those of you who've been in there. So just so you know, David Vogel's been in there. He kicked us off straight away. Deborah Belford came in at 10000 David came back and said, no, no, no. He's put the nose of his horse out in front, David Vogel. Maria came in uh, at 15000 David. 
David came back at 17 and a half. Maria came back That's in. That's Mario Margado, Mario one of Margado. our sponsors here, right? Oh, Mario at $20,000 is back in. David's back in at 20. And right now, we got Mario Margado at $22,500. Now, there are $2,500 increments. But remember, this is all inclusive. This is nothing but the very, very finest. You're not going to be squinting your eyes. Where are the horses? You're going to be right there, right before they cross the line. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you 30 seconds right now before we cross that line. But I know there's going to be more people out there that want to get in on this because Mario right now at 2250, and he likes, I know he likes horsepower. Of course right? he does, with Cars. the car dealership. See that? You see what he did there? See you how see I did there? that? Right. See what I did that? You're so unbearable. Mario, I'm a, <laughs> unbearable. I did it again, right? I can barely hear you. <laughs> but can... what I love about Mario and David, what they're doing during this auction yeah. line, it's like a heavyweight boxing it match, is. right? Back They've been going forth. back and forth back and, and forth. back and forth back and about forth. seven or eight different bids. And right. in a moment, we're going to be able to tell you who won this auction And that's line. what I love about that. You know, when you think about this mile race, right, which is just over a mile, it mile is. and a quarter, mile. Have you done A little it? more than a mile a quarter. Have I have you, not run you the race, done, no. You've not run the course. Either way, they say it's the fastest, most exciting two-minute race of the sporting history. And so right now, you're going to be right there at the tail end. But remember, it starts on the Friday. You're going to be there for two tickets on the Friday for the Kentucky Oaks. This whole weekend, for example, is the pinnacle of two weeks of racing. Yeah. The two weeks of racing. So it's like the, the final performance in, in, on, on Broadway. You're getting tickets to that, but you're getting two of the shows, both the matinee and the night show. So now we've got the two tickets to the Derby itself on the Saturday, two tickets to the Kentucky Oaks on the Friday. You're going to the Barnstable Brown Gala, right. which will be absolutely smashing on the Friday night. You're going to Gold House Hotel, three nights, four days, and we're going to fly you there with 180,000 sky miles with American. With an understanding that like all of our packages that include these miles, you can use the miles for anything oh, yeah. you want. What you it's like? not just flights, but almost every travel opportunity you can think of can be bought with American Airlines miles. So thank you right. to American for all the donated miles that we have through this one Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Incredibly generous. And, and again, remember that this is a great chance for you to be able to contribute and, of course, make, uh, make that you know, bucket list trip a possibility. 22, 22 and a half grand. We're looking for one final bid on that one. Remember, you can use it in either 2021 or 2022. The weekend you need open is the first, uh, first Saturday of May, which is when this is always run. And think about how nice that is to have that flexibility. There's certainly some people who aren't comfortable right. traveling as soon as next May, right. but you'll have 18 plus months in order to use this package. So you can go in 2022 to the Kentucky Derby. So it is certainly the bucket list trip of a lifetime. Do you know why they call it the, the running of the roses? No, but I bet you know. I do know. Tell so me. I'm, I should have asked. Did you know? That's crazy. <laughs> so um, when the winner finishes, they drape them with a with a yes. blanket of roses. Yes. You now say now yes. I know. Well, now, I know that that's how now they you end. Say <laughs> no. Now you say no. So anyway, we're going to finish this off very shortly. But I, as I said earlier with the previous package, with the Alonzo Morning, or with, of course, the, the fabulous liquor, or restock your liquor box, if there's things that not necessarily resonating with you, remember we've got other items following this. So don't forget to be able to start those biddings on now. But most importantly, put in your maximum bid because we don't want to finish off on that. So in a few moments, again, this is the wonders of modern technology. We're getting the, the confirmation. And ultimately, I think it's important to continue to stress, not only with this auction item, but we've got one more great live auction item oh, coming boy. up. And ultimately, the words that are coming out of our mouths are reaching people at home at a different time. So we understand that there might be people who are thinking, why isn't it closed yet? Or why is the next item not going yet? We're getting to them all, but because of technology, we are waiting to see who won our items. We're announcing the winners of our items because we are certainly making sure. So we do have a final sale price There we on go, this ladies lot, and gentlemen, right? going once, going twice, going three times, you beauty sold! To Mario Bugato, thank you very much for $222,500. Well you done. You are going to the Kentucky Derby. That is awesome. We'd love to see that. Now, the next auction lot is certainly the pinnacle of this auction. The creme de la creme, if you will. Oof. Now, we have got some great pictures up here for you to see exactly where you're going to be traveling to, right? You see up there and you see the McLaren manufacturing plant. You see the Rolls-Royce. You see the private plane. You see London. Mm -hmm. I could tell them about it, but you know who can tell them about it a little bit better? Mr. Fuchs. Take it away. Hi, I'm Michael Fuchs. Welcome to the Diamond Ball. I wanted to tell you about this amazing package that will be auctioned off on December 3rd. This trip consists of first-class airfare for two from your location to Newark, New Jersey, where we will meet up and travel to London via private jet. While in London, we will stay at the Shangri-La Hotel at the Chard. We will travel by helicopter to both the Rolls-Royce factory and the McLaren factory. While there, we will take a complete tour 
meet their executives, and enjoy a personal lunch with them. March would be the ideal time for this four-day excursion because the weather is so nice in London. In the evenings, we'll have dinner at some of London's best restaurants, while in London, we will travel in a luxurious Rolls Royce. The total cost of this trip is in excess of $100,000. So please be generous with your bid. This will help a lot of children. Thank you. Think about it. It will help a lot of children. I'm my tie for this one. Yeah, this is an yeah, important one, right? Absolutely, yeah. Because you have to be fancy to get ready to go on this trip. This is the Car Lovers Ultimate Five Day, Four Night London Experience for Two. But that name only does so much. Because once you realize the things in this package that you cannot buy, it's almost like when people ask us, what's the retail value of that? There is right. no retail there's value no, of this. There's nothing, seriously. Because once we get through this list, you're gonna understand, as Michael just shared with us, there is no retail value. It is two first class tickets from Miami to Newark, and you're thinking to yourself, ooh, first class, but that is nothing when it comes nothing. to describing just the rest wait. of this package. Because once you're in Newark, you're gonna head over to Tito Borough Airport, that's the executive private airport, you're gonna get on the private jet, and it is gonna fly you to London, right? This is for two people. You're gonna have five days and four nights, not just at any hotel. How about the Shangri-La Hotel at the Shard London, right? It is first class. And while you're transporting yourself around London, how are you gonna get transported? A Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. That's what we do, right? Mm -hmm. Because you're in a Rolls Royce. The helicopter transportation will then take you to the Rolls Royce and the McLaren factories for private tours while you are there. And then while you are there, how about this? Lunch with the Rolls Royce and McLaren executive teams. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. And dinner with Michael Fuchs along the way. So what I will tell you is, as much as we can tell you this is a great trip to take, when I tell you that you'll be traveling and having this experience with Michael Fuchs as well, I will tell you that it will be VIP first class. He talked about the $100,000 number on this trip. Mm. You can't put a number on this trip, no. right? The bid currently is at $60,000. We're going in $5,000 increments. If this sells for $60,000, we haven't done a very good job up here Absolutely because folks, not. this is the trip of a lifetime. This is your opportunity to be treated as first class as they come. This is for car lovers. This is for just people who like the finer things in life. There is no doubt. Look, I, I know in my career of doing this, this is without a doubt the most luxurious package I've ever seen. When I first heard about this, I thought you cannot be serious. Mr. Fuchs, thank you so very much for your incredible generosity to, to the hospital and for putting this package together. But as, as Jason said, to have access to not just to go to the McLaren and the Rolls-Royce manufacturing plant, but then to sit and have lunch with the, the Rolls-Royce and the McLaren executive team, I mean, that is unbelievable. I mean, when you got that type of access, you have to start off the, the event by going first class. And you're gonna be flying first class from Miami to England. When you arrive in England, you're getting a private Learjet to be flown down to London. You may be picked up in a Rolls Royce. You may be driven to the Shangri-La Hotel, five-star hotel where you're gonna stay for four nights and five days. You'll, as, as Michael said, you'll have some magnificent dinners. It's gonna be an opportunity of a lifetime, a helicopter ride to the manufacturing plant, a helicopter ride back, and a trip that will, quite honestly, when we say the ultimate, it's capital T-H-E, the ultimate. Package I've ever seen. Right. I love it that you say that. We didn't call it the ultimate, but it, no. it should be the ultimate, yeah. right? Right. But ultimate, I love to hear that and understand that we opened up the bid on this at fifty thousand dollars, and Ricky Patel kicked it off at fifty. We then had Linda DeShazer come in at fifty-five thousand. Judson Ivy, that sounds like a superstar name, by the way, yeah. came in at sixty thousand well dollars. And then we're waiting to see who wants to place our next bid. Our next bid will be at sixty-five thousand dollars. Understand that. Listen, if this is a couple's trip, we certainly understand it's a nice couple's trip. Sure. If this is Two car lovers who want to go together. Right. All you have to do is think to yourself, listen, for 32,500 at this point, right. we're in for two people. We're each taken care of and we're going to the opportunity. We love the Rolls Royce. We love the McLaren. And we're going to go to the factory. We're going to go meet with the executives. We're going to fly first class to Newark. And then we're going to take that private jet to London. So we have the top bid currently still at $60,000 by Judson Ivy. We need 65,000. And while we wait for that $65,000 donation to come in, we are going to take a moment and put that 30 second counter on this auction lot. Whoa. So 
I don't why we can't waste that much time, right? I get it's it. It's time to raise the money for Nicholas Children's Hospital. And just as Michael reiterated there, think about what a difference this will make for the kids at Nicholas Children's Hospital. At $100,000, when we raise that type of money into this COVID relief fund, you're going to cover the monthly increased disinfecting and cleaning supplies due to COVID, right? right. And we're going to talk about that fact in just a moment with another part of our program. But that for this part of our program, if we get this up to $100,000, please understand just the increased cleaning cost of the hospital and the supplies for the new COVID requirements, $100,000. $100,000. And you could do that by taking this trip and supporting the hospital, winning this live auction lot. So this is your chance of a lifetime. There's no doubt about it. I said it with the previous packages. Don't wake up tomorrow wishing you've done it because right now you've got that chance. Go ahead and hit that button, knowing that this is 100% donated by Michael. It is going to be incredibly beneficial to everybody at the hospital and the 250,000 children that get treated there on a yearly basis and the opportunity to be able to help with their COVID-19 relief, which is what we've all have obviously been dealing with since of March of this year. And so right now, for those of you to be able to go ahead and hit that button and get that opportunity, you will certainly never ever forget mm -hmm. this chance. Yeah, we're, we're going to wait and see what other donation comes in and we're going to see what gets put in to see who's going to win this auction lot. But ultimately, this is the opportunity to take this chance, take this opportunity to say, you know what, what do I want to do in my life? Right. What kind of trip can I put together that no one else would be able to get? Now's the time to put it in and see if you end up our winner because we are waiting to see who comes out of this and we can announce as our winning bidder of this auction lot. So here's what we're going to do. Yeah, you, you, I'm going to let Marilyn go ahead and cut, cut across behind the cameras and have a little conversation there. It's because almost like a Sotheby's auction right now. We've got someone on the phones calling in. We've got someone grunting across to give a confirmation. So we'll, we'll, let this, we'll play this out for just a moment. Yeah, so I want to make sure. I know Marilyn's communicating about a potential bidder there. So let's make sure that we have the right communication there. Because I think it's important. We've got that $60,000 bid. It's most we're certainly been outbid at this stage. Okay. I'll say that. So we, we are sold, and we're sold at, was it at 65? At $75,000. This one sold at $75,000. Right, Karen Wilson got in right under the radar. Well done, And we Karen. are sold at $75,000. Right. <laughs> I love it, love it, love wow. it. That was a lot of fun in our live auction. As Jason said, this next part of the evening is what we call the bid from the heart. And the bid from the heart, we're not heading off to London. We're not going off and playing golf with Alonzo. We're giving from the bottom of the heart understanding just how incredibly valuable your dollars are. As we heard with some of these intro, uh, informational and introductory uh, videos about where the money is going towards, we're talking about the COVID-19 relief and what it means for a hospital as large and expansive with so many patients and so many carers that are in there as well to make sure that when anyone walks through those doors, they can be cared for, looked after and loved from the moment they get there from the moment they leave. And so with the bid from the heart, we're going to be telling you a story about just one of the patients that has been there. Now, we could tell you a little bit more about the programs. We could tell you about the buildings. We could tell you about more of the doctors. But really, this is about the kids. This is about the young people who are better off, who are with us today because of the treatment they received so at true. Nicholas Children's Hospital. And you're about to meet one of them who, if you don't get chills down your back when hearing this story, we're going to have some words with you afterwards. Take Absolutely. a listen. The first time I found out something was off with Gabe was um, during baseball and um, he forgot how to hold his bat um, and his running became really, really slow. I was a little concerned because he would grab his head and say, mommy, it hurts, it hurts a lot. Things progressed even more and he's losing his balance. He's, he doesn't even know what he's doing. Like you could tell, like he's just not there. This is not our kid. From that point, we went and decided that we we're going to take him to Nicholas, and we went into the the, uh, the emergency room. When they came out, they, they, the doctor pulled us from the, the waiting room, and she put us in a little room in, in radiology and then told us that they found a mass in, in his brain. It was cancerous, um, and we definitely needed to start treatment as soon as possible. I thought I was going to lose my boy. Um, I didn't know what else to think. That, that's, that's all that ran through my head was, was how am I going to get through this? How am I going to stay strong for my family? How am I going to stay strong for me? How am I going to stay strong for him? Because this, 
nothing, nothing that you could ever do in life is ever going to prepare you for this. Gabby was diagnosed with um, a tumor called atypical teratoid rhabdoid tumor. Um, in layman's terms, that tumor is an aggressive tumor that even if you're able to get it out completely, you still require additional treatment. And without additional treatment in addition to the surgery, it grows back. If we have a brain tumor like HRT, we hope that the surgeon will be able to resect it completely. With Gabby, we will not be able to do that. Why? The tumor was very deep in the brain. We did have to leave some tumor behind, but knowing that he still needed to have adjuvant therapies, we want to make sure that we don't injure the child. So we started him on a very intense chemotherapy. I would say he, do, he took four rounds of chemo, but something interesting is that kids, they tolerate chemotherapy better than adult. This allow us as oncologists to, to even do more strong chemo for kids and achieve a good result. It was difficult, you know, seeing him so weak and not eating it like he normally does and just the, the throwing up and the nausea and losing weight and then, you know, losing the hair. Like, it, it was it was hard. When, when we went into to the hospital, obviously he couldn't continue with his team. So his team took it upon themselves to use Gabby's story as motivation, all while wearing his number, number 16. And when they won, um, the first thing they all did was, was say, this one's for Gabby. And a couple weeks later, they came by the hospital as a team and they brought him his, uh, his, his championship trophy. This trophy is really special to me because I love my team. When they bought me a trophy, then it made me really, really, really happy. He has zero limitations. He underwent all of his therapies um, and he's doing very well right now. Uh, our goal is to have all of our kids go back to normal have a normal life as a child that involves being involved in sports, being active, running around, playing around. And that's really our end goal is to get them back to doing everything that they were doing before. He always said like, I got this mommy, don't worry, you know? He showed me that he can do this and that he was very strong and not to worry. And I've always said he's, he's an old soul because he doesn't have an attitude of a five-year-old, he has an attitude of a grown man. He does, he really, really does. I have to give it to Nicholas Jordan in the hospital, the staff, they've just been amazing. Like from the nurse from when we first walked into the emergency room to the nurses now when we go every week, it's just they're always caring about Gabby. Made it a lot easier for us to be able to, to get through what we needed to get through. Where your hope? Oh, look no! You know, I see him going a long way. Like he's always said he wants to be a doctor and help kids like him, so I, I see him doing it. And if not, he's gonna help kids some way, somehow. Um, he's my best friend. <sighs> Hold on. <laughs> he's, um, yeah, man. <sighs> That's my best friend. That's my best friend in the whole wide world. And uh, <sighs> I couldn't imagine myself without him. I mean, I will tell you that I believe that after watching that video, that so many of us here in the studio, so many of you watching out there are Gabriel's best friends as well. Even without knowing him personally, you feel that story. And during this next part of the program, when we go into the bid from the heart, this is the part of the program where if you simply go on your device, click the menu button, and there's a option to make a gift. We're gonna to talk to you exactly why you should make a gift, how you can make that gift to support young people like Gabriel. Gabrielle, Maya, I mean, we have seen Ryder earlier, and these are just a few children in an ocean of children that get cared for every single year. We all spend our money differently throughout the year, and there's no doubt that when it comes to the end of the year, we look back on it and, and remember what parts of it. Know that tonight's donations, the money that you are contributing to right now, will be going towards the COVID-19 relief plan, the plan, the strategy, that the Nicholas Children's Hospital put into place as quickly as possible to make sure that anybody who stepped foot through those doors was gonna be cared for and looked after the entire time they were there. 
I'm going to be starting at some higher levels. I'm going to make my way down through those levels. My sincere, genuine hope is that every single one of you out there finds a level that you feel able, willing, and wanting to give. But this first level I'm going to start at could be a business donation. It could be a family legacy. It is what I consider a leadership gift. And that leadership gift I'm looking for right now, I'll let you know, I'm looking for $25,000 or above. I know in previous events we've seen in the, the 12th and the 13th event of the Diamond Ball, we've seen 50,000, 100,000. If those donors are out there, for those people who want to contribute, we thank you so very much. I'll let you know that $25,000, it actually supplies a quarter of the COVID-19 testing supplies and equipment for one month at 25,000. But if anybody out there would like to lead us off at that level or above, we'd love to get started because I can tell you right now, these, these incredible fundraisers have been incredibly important every single year, but certainly with uh, you know, COVID and everything that's been going on in 2020, it's exponentially more important. And you think about how staggering that is, that $25,000 number that you mentioned, right? The one that I, you know, it's the same math, but right. Right, the one I mentioned earlier is for $100,000, you cover all the cost for the right. month, the increased disinfecting and cleaning supplies and equipment. So in addition to what the hospital was already doing. So what we're looking for is $25,000 or above. We're gonna keep working our way down to see who is ready to give. We've got this screen in front of us that will show us who is giving. We wanna celebrate you, we wanna thank you, we wanna acknowledge you. Are there donors at $10,000? Understand that at the $10,000, it's one month of funding for the COVID-19 wow. Command Center. Think about that. You tap that button on your phone under make a gift. They, they put the buttons there for you. You tap the button that says $10,000 and you'll make that contribution. We do have a $10,000 donation that came in. Raul Rodriguez Raul at $10,000. How about you. that, right? Raul, Way to lead us bell, off, Raul. That's extraordinary. That's a thank $10, you. $10,000 donation, That's a big $10,000 right? donation. Thank and you Mary so Lynn very much. And John Raylis are now in at $10,000. Thank $10, you so How very about much, about much that, at $10,000. Right? This is an amazing generation. We love to see that, and we're going to see the name. Oh, Lisa and Jay just came in at $10,000. Thank $10, you very much. Well so done. the Mastermans came in. Well done, the Cynthia Mastermans. Hudson and Robert Hernandez are now in at $10,000. How about that one coming in? This is what it's about. Absolutely. FedEx is coming as well. Thank you so very much for your $10,000. And please know you don't have to wait for us. Any level that you want to give right now, we're already at $93,000. There's FedEx. Thank you so very much for your $10,000. And Adam Schimmel was in a moment ago at $10,000. Folks, wow. bidding breeds bidding. We know there are those of you out there who say, you know what, I might not want to be first. But how about Christine Lynn getting in Thank right you, now? Christine. Christine Thank is a $10,000 donor. Now we're cooking with gas, right? Absolutely. This we is what it's all about, else. people. Go, and go ahead and jump on in. As we said, that $10,000 for that COVID-19, that command center, to be able to go and have that manned. As you know, in this year, whether you've gone ahead and had yourself tested or you've had loved ones going in, you know how incredibly important it is to have that so quick, so happen. Who else at $10,000? Listen, we were taking donations throughout the entirety of the program. We started this part of the program with, I think it was $30,000 yep. or so that people yep. had donated throughout the program. We're now going to see other donations as they come in. And we certainly know and we see that other donations are showing up there on the screen. We will acknowledge as many of them as we can throughout the program, but we want to make sure to the best that we can, we are acknowledging those people at the levels we're calling, and then we will get back to other donors at some other point. So are there other $10,000 donors out Who there? Who else would like to join in at $10,000? I'm going to drop down now to $5,000. At $5,000, I'll help share with you that it actually go ahead and increase the warehouse costs that now have to supply the inventory so the staff have the items on hand ready to go straight away. That's what $5,000 would cost. Of course, you don't have to wait for us. You want to put in the 10, the 20, the 25, whatever you want to put in. But I'm looking now for $5,000. AON, thank you so very much so, for your $5,000. Thank you. And we you. actually have one right here. I want to call this one out. And you know what's awesome is that John Smith never donates at our auctions, right? No, but he has. But people, I'm going to walk a little bit forward so I can see the screen here. But Leopoldo Malvezzi is a $5,000 well donor. So Malvezzi. Dr. Malvezzi, thank, thank you, you so, so much very much. For your $5,000 That's donation. amazing. So let's see who else gets in at $5,000 and see if we can acknowledge them when those donations go in there on the screen. So we've had $10,000 donors so far. Dr. Malvezzi was in at $5,000. Are there other $5,000 donors or above for Nicholas Children's Hospital? So let's see who Pam, can get in. Can I get in. you to drop, go to the top of the list, please, right now? 
Thank you so very much. Again, as, as these dollars are coming in, we'll recognise. We want to thank you. We want to applaud you. We're at $113,000 118, right now. 118000 is getting Lisa in, Lisa right? Matthew Love, thank you for yours coming in. Tony Aguiz, thank you so very much to the couple. Thank you so very much for that donation. Incredible to get that $5,000. So, so the Arguizes are at 5000 We want to thank them for that. Lisa and Matthew Love were at 5000 Oh, the Arguizes, I stand seven corrected. Seven and a half. 7500 They said, don't worry about the five. From, right, right. We want seven and a half. And we love you for that because we actually said before, put in your cup, whatever level you want to give, whenever you want to give it. We're at 133000 everybody. This has made such an extraordinary showing of generosity. And we knew this tonight was going to be special with the 14th diamond ball but we thank you so very much for your contributions again this could be a family legacy it could be a, a, a uh, obviously a business donation and i'll say this for those businesses out there when you when that name there's the aon donation at five thousand that just go. came thank in right thank you so very much uh, aon's 5, at six thousand now that i'm looking at the chart here people are doing different get, numbers see, we're okay with that they're doing that and there was one other one at five thousand that i think we missed um i think it was eileen and doug wolf were in at five thousand right, dollars so you. to the wolves thank you so much for that at five thousand dollars anyone else at five thousand Anyone else would like to come in at $5,000? Again, remembering with when it comes to the warehouse space that is needed now for all these extra goods, we're at nearly $45,000, guys. This is extraordinary. And Perry Ann and, jo Perry Perry. Ann and John Reed are in at $5,000. Thank you so much. Patricia and Alex Soto, thank you very much. Christy and David Martin coming in as all well. All these thank are $5,000 donations, so folks. Much. People are hitting those buttons. They're making that difference. We're at $159,000. Awesome. Thank you to Dr. Craig Spurtle, who's a $5,000 donor. Thank you so very much, guys. It makes such a huge huge difference and we know that when it comes to these leadership gifts that it inspires us to do. Who else is going to join in at $5,000? We just got Craig's another one. Craig Spundle, thank you so very much, Craig, for yours. Francis Fort, thank you very much. Rolly, thank you so very much for your donation. Extraordinary generosity. Thank you. Anyone else at $5,000 before we move on? We are over more than $160,000 in tonight's bid from the heart to this point. Are there other $5,000 donors out there? Other $5,000 donors that we can thank, we can acknowledge, we can give you that appreciation for all you do for Nicholas Children's Hospital. Anyone else at 5,000? Understand that as we move on to the next level, any number above the donation that we're calling out or the acknowledgements that we're doing Absolutely. as we go down. So the next level we're gonna call is the $2,500 donation. At $2,500, you fund the PPE for about 250 people. Wow. Think about that for patients and for staff wow. at $2,500. We got Cynthia Hudson in at $2,500. How about that, right? Woo! Well done, right. Cynthia. Thank you. And we know that some other people gave $2,500 earlier in the program. So after we give our first run of $2,500 donors a chance to get in, we will acknowledge some others. So thank you. I don't think we got John Lee Nielsen at 5000 as well. So John Lee Nielsen is a $5,000 donor, and right? And Yalis Rodriguez as well at 2500 as well, who came in earlier that we'd like to recognize right now as well. In fact, could we skip, pan down a little bit, please, Pam, and make sure that we saw all the other ones previously? Because we invited you to come in earlier. And for those of you who may have come in at $2,500 earlier, I want to make sure that you are recognized and thanked for your incredible donation because that's what it's all about. It does take a village, there's no doubt about it. We'll get that one at 3,000. There, there we are, Rick and, Rick Renee, and Renee Winans. Thank, Thank you to Rick and Renee. Thank you, Winans, very much for your $3,000 that came in there. But again, any time you want to enter, we're at 176,000, everybody. And as I said, it takes a little bit of latency for those totals to kick in, for those numbers to kick in. Again, if we could pan to the top, please, Pam. No pun intended. <laughs> Pan Pam, I like when you do yeah, that. Like right? that. Yeah, yeah. Right. We got Jose and Nancy Perdomo at Thank twenty five hundred dollars. Thank you. Anyone else? We're gonna wait and see and give this a little bit of time to catch up here, because we've got our list here. We want to make sure that as we call these dollar amounts, they are acknowledged. We talked about Scott Borchetta at five thousand dollars. We had Jose and Nancy Perdomo. We had another donation there that just came in, but we want to make sure that as we look at this screen here, we know that the donations are coming in at the right time. Is there anyone else at 2,500? Todd Wolf from Total Cleaning is a $2,500 donor. Thank $2, you so dollar. much, Todd. That, right? Amazing at $2,500. Absolutely and phenomenal. And Kathy Freed got in at well $2,500. Done. So, Kathy, thank you much for your donation. United as well coming in at $2,500. Thank you so very much for your donation. We're now at $190,000, everybody. This is amazing generosity. Dr. John Ragheb, we're trying to keep up with it as quick as we can here. He was a $2,000 donor, so Dr. Ragheb, thank, thank you, you so much. United Healthcare, we acknowledged them before they Absolutely. were in a $2,000. Thank you, so yep. Thank you. Anyone else at $2,500? 
We're waiting to watch these increase, waiting to watch our screen down here in mm -hmm. front of us refresh. If we can refresh that screen one time for us, Pam, thank you. We'll acknowledge some of these donors and thank them because I know donations have come in. So Judson Ivy was in at $5,000. That's I think right. We might have had that at $2,500. That's right. And then we did thank Don Javersack at $2,500. So at this point, we are at $198,311. No, we're not. We're at 208. We just got another one. Ricky Patel is in our well board done, chair. Ricky. Thank you Ricky so much to you in. and your family. That's amazing. So that was that a 10? That's a $10,000 donation We don't mind there. going backwards, Ricky. We really right, don't have a problem right. with that. Like, that's no problem at all. If you want to see it back, we'll go backwards. So we were in at $10,000. We got some other donations coming in. It looks like that one was just $2,000 from Manny Reyes. Thank you to Manny at $2,000. We were calling anything for $2,500 above, but let's go ahead and go down to that next level. Yeah, we're going to go down now. Oh, hang on. Ryan Bogues, yep, at $5,000. Ryan, Ryan Bogues, thank Ryan you so Boggs, very much. $5,000 Thank you, Ryan, so much for your donation. Again, it's a, it's almost like Sotheby's. Again, all sorts of uh, people writing on notes and handing up. We don't mind being interrupted. I can right. promise you that. And the yeah. Boggs is also won the Alonzo Morning Package, if ah, you remember. Well, right? of so they've course. done well. What, what is this one? Walmart, $5,000. Walmart is in at $5,000 as well. Amazing. So what we've done here is if we get the written signs from over here, yeah. we're trying to get the technology over here to enter yeah. them in the numbers here. But I will tell you, Brett Trembley has just made a donation here as well that I think it's probably 1500 but we'll wait and see as we get the dollar amounts as we refresh the screens. We talked about Manny Reyes at $2,500. We've talked about lots of donations at the $2,500 to the $2,000 level, but you were just about... I was they, just... I was this they close. almost don't let us talk I'll about lower me, levels because more Patel are decided in, to right? put another zero on what I was going to talk about. We're talking about a $1,000 level. Now, I'll let you know that a $1,000 personal protection equipment for 90 patients and staff, Jason, making sure that every single person with inside those walls of the Nicholas Children's Hospital are being cared for from the moment they arrive to the time they go home. <laughs> That's 90 with $1,000. So $1,000 will come in there. Ariana came in at $1,000. Thank you so very much. And we called out Brett Trembley before. I think I only gave him credit for 2000 He was 2500 So Pam, what I think I'll have you do, if you can sort by the amount, because I think we've had a handful of $1,000 donations that came in, and I want to make sure we acknowledge as many of them as we can, right? So here we go. Here we I'd go. love to see yeah. this. You, you want these names? You no, no, you go for it. You go for it. You're it's like a race right, You go. Right. Right. So the first name at $1,000 is Hacia Dolombia. Dr. Anthony Rossi was in at $1,000. Drew Kern is a $1,000 donor. Michelle Dudley is a $1,000 donor. Wow. Iris and Victor Burgess wow. Vasquez, thank you. Roly Marante is a $1,000 yes. donor. Reshma Naldo. I'm going to look a little closer at that one. Excuse me. Nadu is, I think, wow. I'll go with that one. You mentioned Ariana at 1000 Thank Robert you. Robert Ratcliffe was in at 1500 Pam, let me see a few more. Are there any more? I think we got the other ones up there. So those were wow. all $1,000 donors. And now if we just go back to the time-stamped ones, I see Jose Danz is now in as a donor for us as well. So we are at $216,811. All these are $1,000 donations that have come in. Lily Taboas and Dr. Marcus Thank you uh, so Marcos much. Mastre is in. Thank we're you. at $217,811. So Dr. Marcos was in at $1,000. Jose Danz was a $2,500 donor. Who else at 1000 or above? Anybody else want to join us? Remember, the, the, the $1,000 is going to help 90, 90 staff and patients within the walls of the Nicholas Children's Hospital be protected. That's what this is about, this $1,000. So when you wake up tomorrow morning, be invigorated by that. Be inspired by the, 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 the money that you've spent because it will go so far. You have seen stories so far earlier when you see the patients and the stories, and not just the patients, but the families, and the ripple effect that it has with these dollar amounts, that's what it's about when you start to make these donations. Because you may never have the opportunity of meeting the people that you're going to affect, but I can promise you, as you've seen tonight, it most certainly is going to have a long-term effect. And listen, those buttons are right there on the phone for you. I can't say it enough times. Whether it's your laptop or your iPhone, whatever you're bidding from, please make that contribution. I will tell you also, folks, is what we have here. Before we announce that one right there, I want to get this up here because I'm excited about that too. But at 218311 we just got a new donation from Michelle Mejia. Yeah. I want to get, can we refresh this screen so I can see how much that donation was from? Did I miss that one? Again, the one that's modern it's technology. Right. It's coming, I promise. So Michelle is $500. in at 500 so Thank we're about you. to the 500 level. Thank you. But how about we make this contribution, right? Because what we just have here from Lorna Perozo yep. and LPR Foundation Thank is they're making a donation Ready for of 
thousand dollars here 50, this evening, 000. right? How about that? Fifty thousand right? dollars. You that talk is about amazing. things happening organically here and the magic of this technology where we can reach into your homes and show you the stories of Gabriel and his dad. Wow. His dad, Gabriel, as well. Talk about his best friend. His best friend is here today because of people out there like you who are watching, who are donating and supporting that wow. funds the hospital, the doctors, the research, the science, the equipment that helps kids like Gabriel. So we are at $218,000. I have a feeling at a moment that's going to be at $268,311. Right. That's coming. Yep, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where every single dollar counts. And I know for the vast majority, and I said this to everyone, you know, we started off, I'm going to start at some high levels, I'm going to make my way down. No, I know. So many of us would love to be able to give more. We'd love to be able to good donate. We're at 223 right now. But no, every single dollar counts. So in fact, let's move to the $500 level. So at that $500 level, again, we made such a magnificent difference. Nearly 50 patients and staff members can be protected within the walls of the Nicholas Children's Hospital. It makes such a huge difference to think about how many patients, how little patients, when you think about this time of year, because the, the hospital certainly doesn't close its doors. Sadly, the patients continue to come yeah. and they need a place to be over the holiday period. And this is the oasis. Yeah, this is it. Nicholas Children's. And I will tell you, can I see the $50,000 donor again? Because I will tell you that we do a lot of events. And a lot of times when someone wants to give $50,000, and this is right. Lorena Perozo and the LPR Foundation. And yep. again, we're going to have them on the screen in a moment. But we do a lot of events where they might get up there and say, listen, we're willing to give $50,000 if other people will give $50,000 right. also. Or right. you have 5000 you know, 10 times, whatever it is. Lorna and the foundation doesn't believe that. They believe in giving 50,000. Lorena, did I get it right that time? Yeah. We're doing our best with a handwritten sign over here, folks, <laughs> but I will tell you that they believe in making a gift like that to inspire others to give. Right. So now I ask you, who's with them? Who will follow their lead? Either someone who says, you know what? I realize that my family foundation or my company can do a $50,000 gift. Or maybe it just inspires you to give that 500 that Jeff just asked for right. to make that difference at the level that you're able to give. Right. So they gave from the bottom of their heart. Who will join them? So now we're going to look up here, and I see Adriana Day is our most recent donor there as well. We're going to see if there's other donors that we can acknowledge that have donated to this point as well. We're at $224,561, almost a quarter of a million dollars just by saying, folks, here's our mission, support us. We're now over that quarter of a million dollars because of David Sayo, who has given right there. And actually, the person who gave it got us over 225 skipped by too fast. We're going to make sure they get acknowledged in a minute as well. So that's going to come here. Adriana Day was a $250 donor. Jacqueline Gonzalez was in at 1000 Peter Lopez was in at $5,000 there as well, right? Look, there's no doubt when it comes to the, uh, the COVID-19 year, 2020, that, that's made us appreciate all that we've had previously and all that we have not been able to do this year. So perhaps this year, when you think about your holiday gifts, instead of going ahead and buying things that we forget very, very quickly, you could be investing those dollars. And that's what this is. It's an investment in the youth of Florida, looking after the children, making sure that this hospital continues to run and making sure that when these little children, and for those parents and grandparents out there, you know what it's like when even your child stubs a toe and how dreadful we feel. When you think about little Gabriel and Maya and the other children, Ryder, and the difficulties, the obstacles, and the uphill battle that they face, and be able to give them that upper hand. That's what this is about. And this is why this amazing diamond ball has been going on for its 14th year. And obviously, in this very different element, there it is, LPR the Foundation's Foundation right there. The LPR Foundation is in at $277,561. Unbelievable. $50,000 donation. And we will continue to acknowledge, Marilyn, let me see that sign one more time, and we'll make sure that it gets knowledge over and over, because it's Lorena Perozo per and the yep. LPR Foundation. We will thank yep. them both as many times as we can, Absolutely. because they are one in the same, right? Ultimately, through the technology, it says LPR Foundation, but please know that Lorena is certainly the driving force behind that. Thank you. So now we do want to kind of catch everybody up on where we're at. So if we can refresh this screen that we're at right here, and I know a few others have come in. And after we call out these donors that have come in, because I missed David Drosner. David Drosner gave Thank $500. You. That got us Thank over you, the 225000 And then if we can now sort by the dollar amount, I want to acknowledge everyone who's given 500 or above. 
So there's a bunch of these and I love to oh, see wow. that. So here's what we're gonna do. The $500 donors are Dr. Pablo, Pablo Marcello and Mirta Laufler, Josh Weber, Donna and Marilyn Perlin. Dr. Josh Oser, um, Orses is a $500 donor. Um, Beth Morgan is in at 500. Michelle Mejia is in at 500. And we mentioned David Drosner. So all of those are $500 donors, which has got us to 277,561. Who else at $500 before we move to that next level? Finally, I'm going to be moving on to the $500. And again, I've been reminded of a great President Roosevelt where he once said, do what you can with what you have where you are. We're in unprecedented times. We're doing this virtually. Wherever you are right now, you can be sitting at home right now, but know that you are part of a community. Know that you are doing a huge amount of good. Whether you're giving $50 or $50,000 it is going to make the world a difference. We're going to move to $250 right now. Our second last level of giving at $250 to be able to go ahead and hit that button. And if you think about it in this day and age, how quickly you can go through $250. Lene Bostic is a $250 thank donor. Thank you very so much. Lene, thank you. Oh, that's a $100 donation. Thank so you. So let's go ahead and uh, um, sort by dollar amount again so we can call it the $250 donors to this point. Because so many of them have contributed throughout the program. We want to make sure we acknowledge as many of them as we can. So we're going to do... Yeah, we're going to start right there at 250 You want me to take this yeah, one? I got those. Uh, yeah, Adriana Day came in. In fact, twice there at $250. Michael Grusami came in as well. Sandra, thank you so very much. Rich Marga, very much. Christopher Strobe, thank you very much for your, for your $250. Shannon O'Dell for $250. Hayley Canberra, thank you for your $250 right now. Maria and Andreas Franco, thank you so very much. David Drosner at $250. Thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of those people who came in previously at $250 because as we said, you didn't have to wait for us to be prompted to give the money that you wanted to give. And if we can um, sort by time again so I can call them out because we get, did get some other donations that have come in right here. We have Luxme Harahan. So thank you so much. We're going to get as close as we can on these names. We are at $277,911. Wow. So we're in right there. So I want those donations to keep coming in at the $250 level. But... We do have one more level to call. One more. All right. And that is the $100 level. Now, for those of you who gave $100 already, thank you so much. But we do have a game that we're going to play for everyone else who's going to give from this point forward at $100 or above. He's smirking because he knows the game already, right? And here's how the game is going to be played. We're going to ask for $100 donations. As, we, as much as we've talked about the fact that during the bid from the heart, you don't get anything except the feeling of knowing that you gave from the bottom of your heart, at the $100 level, we do have one prize. And that prize is 50,000 American airline miles. In Oof. some cases, enough for two round trip tickets yeah. here in the United States. Yeah. The question is, how are we gonna decide who are we gonna give that prize to at the $100 level? It's very simple. How do we do that? We're gonna give it to the person who gives $100 or more last. See what I did there? Yeah, Right. interesting. So here's how it's gonna work. I will tell you that we talked about Lene Bostick's donation. We talked about Luxme Hanrahan's donation. Alyssa Zamora is in at $250. And you see her name up there on the screen. Uh -huh. If we were to say closed right now, yeah. Alyssa would get these uh, 50,000 American Airline miles just for donating $250. You can play this game anywhere at $100 or above. So right now, Alyssa is our last donor. Uh -huh. We're going to wait and see who else would like to play our game at the $100 level or above. So before we do that, let's go ahead and sort one more time by dollar amount. So I can acknowledge the people who have given. We can start right there. I'll get to go Ooh, $100 boy, or above, all. right? So we talked about Lene. We got Francis Forte. We got Brittany and Steven Kochak. We got Marianne Flores. We got well Helena Skorik. Michelle Haas is in at 100. Yep. Brooke Perlin Esquire and Chad A. Perlin, MD, are in at 100. Jacqueline and Nelson Gonzalez is a $100 donor. Juan Carlos and Magalie Cer uh, Cervera is in at 100. We got a couple here, Karen, Kyle, Nickel in at 150, Patricia Estevez at 150, Maria Ramon at 200, and those are all the people who have given 100 or more leading up to this point in the program. Marianne Soily is now in the top. to play our game, right? So now let's sort again by time, because now time is all that is going to matter. Oh. Because we're going to watch the donations as they have come in. And anyone who donates $100 or above, if you're the last one, you're going to get these 50,000 American airline miles. So if you so, can imagine what Jason and I have in front of us right now, is each person comes in and donates, like Randy's just come in again. So Randy's come in and is now at the very top. All it takes is for one person to hit a $100 donation or above, 250, 500, 750, whatever, and they will then become again. Sarah Jolly is now at the top. Then we had Randy. So again, this is how it's just gonna work, and each one. So 
even if you hit the, the button two or three times to try to be at the top, which is two or three hundred dollars, and you win 50,000 miles, I mean, come on. And you can play this game as many times as you want. Absolutely. So De Jessica Bormy is now in. Thank We're at $179,011. I wouldn't be surprised if we got to more than 280000 Yeah. At this point, easy. So Marianne was our current leader at one point. Then Sarah Jolly. Then Rainy uh, Garage, and then uh, Jessica Bormy came in, and then Farewell. Amy Fretwell came back. Fretwell, Amy, our well friend done. from the YMCA. So hello, Amy. Welcome G'day, to Amy. our program. We're at 279,211. Dr. Zayad and Randa Katib are now in at $100. Who else would like to play our game? We're at 279,211. The way this game is going to close, understand, is that we are gonna put, once again, 30 seconds on the clock. Now, don't put it on just yet. But when we put that 30 second counter on, understand that we're not in charge of saying when this is closed. When we get the alert here in the studio that that 30 seconds is up, we will announce who our final bidder is. Mm -hmm. So we are now at 279,511, which means we've had two donations since I started talking about it. Jamie Shemp is one of them. She's in at $100. We had Dr. Rudy and Dr. Jennifer Fernandez McCafferty are in. Yes. Um, Alitas Rodriguez Twice. is in. Who else? Who are going to get us over 280,000? There you go. That's all it takes. Just go ahead and hit that button. You may not have been able to donate the entire night. You thought, what can $100 do? Well, $100 can do a huge amount of difference. In fact, I'll let you know, with telehealth, it means that's two calls. It is. Two treatments. At and so Monica treatment. Sanchez got in to do just that. Marianne ah, Soily well just got done, in to do it once again. So we're at $279,911, about to cross the $280,000 marker. But what we're going to do is we're going to put a 30-second counter on Let's it right it. now, right? Let's do it. And understand that win. during this time, we talked about Elizabeth and Bob Hanfeld now at $280,000. But we talked about them right now. And now what we have to do is we just have to let the donations kind of flow in a little just bit. Just flow right? in. That's right? what we're going to do. Just we, the flow. We don't acknowledge the top donors no. in this point we will acknowledge you in a moment as soon as we get the closed sign we will acknowledge the donor we will also acknowledge the total money raised because we can see it on the screen right now so I've used the analogy a few times you know what it's like if you've ever bought anything off eBay with the auction finishing the last seconds that's what this is happening right now you hit that button then you keep your fingers crossed you hit that button just hope that you've gone ahead but as Jason said you might be able to hit it a couple of times to make sure that even if someone's jumped in after your second last hit that you're then at the top of the very top. Right. And American Airlines has done so much for us Huge. during this program, right? Understand, uh, Marilyn, do you know the total number of miles that they donated? One million, One million miles, miles to our from program. American Airlines. So they have been split up amongst so many different parts of our program. So it has been an amazing opportunity to help support Nicholas Children's Hospital with those sort of donations and think about how much has happened with those donated well, miles, right? Yeah, and think of what's been happening with the airline industry. And for American Airlines to be so incredibly generous like that right, is right. extraordinary. So thank you, American. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We, do it, we are going to close this one out, right? Yeah. And you see there on the screen Juan Carlo Hervis. Yeah. Other donations may come in at this point. Right. But I will tell you that Juan Carlos Hervis has won the American Airlines miles. But what's more important to me is I want to acknowledge some donations that came in during that time that sure. we were going there, right? Yeah, yeah. So, Pam, if you can just scroll up for me, because I think the last one we called was around Monica Sanchez. In those last few seconds, Marianne Stoley came in again. Elizabeth Best Thacker came in yep. at 100. Gwen Erkeman and Bob Hannafland yep, came, came in at 100. In. Look at these next two. Yep. John Paul Medina came in at 2,500. Jarrett Davis came in at 2,500 dollars. Well right? done. Then Marion Flores came in. Luke's May Hanrahan came back in, and then you have our winner, Juan Carlos Hervis. And what I will tell you, as much as we want to celebrate Juan Carlos and closing that game, and that was a lot of fun. What's more important to me is you look up there on the screen. What do you see? I you see, see 285,511 wow. dollars. Wow. Eyes. Unbelievable. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there may be a level that you, we didn't mention that you would like to give. You can always put in that custom level, whether it's $4 or $4 million, anything in between. We'd absolutely love that, and you can continue to give, and we appreciate it very much. Right. And we listen, we know that throughout the program, many of you have been sending in your pictures and texting and, and putting a uh, social media hashtag up there for us. We want to take a look at some of you, how have you have been celebrating tonight in our social media wall. The social media wall, sponsored by Greenberg Troy. You see some of our great supporters there watching the Diamond Gala, holding their diamond up as well. Rainey, who is one of our donors tonight, thank you so much. And Brett Tremblay, we saw him donate from Tremblay Law, so thank you so much to him. Jessica at Jessica Miami. I love that. Ooh, Jessica Miami. Nice she's, she's so excited for the Nicholas Diamond Ball. So thank you NCHS so much. NCHS Careers, for everyone thank you so who very sent much. Those in. You want to scroll up just a little bit, David, see if there's any others on there that we can acknowledge? 
got to go back to that screen to scroll up. I see that as well. So there's the Jessica one. There's more of our pictures there. I love to see those folks, people watching and celebrating our Diamond Gala here this evening. So thank you so much for everyone who contributed in our social media wall. I will tell you that if you want to pick up your items, if you want to get your items, if you want anything in the silent or the live auction, or you are our opportunity drawing winner, winner, if you read the description of that item on your bidding device, you will see there exactly how to pick up those items and know exactly where to get them, how to get them to you. Now. At the very beginning, I started talking about the Sandals limited ticket raffle. We do have a winner. It is the McCafferty. It is Rudy and Dr. Jennifer Fernandez McCafferty. Thank you so very much. <laughs> we'll do the bell for them, right? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Guess what? There's... I would too. You're going to a couple totally resort. That's absolutely phenomenal. Enjoy your time. I love it. And they won just with that $100 opportunity drawing. So congratulations to them. We also have our second and final opportunity uh, to win our registration reward. This is the two night stay at the Thesis Hotel that we're giving to someone who did nothing but register. That's all you had to do. So our second registration reward goes to Patricia Rojo, congratulations Woo! to Patricia. Woo! You get that two night stay at Hold the on. Thesis Hotel again. Thank you so much just for registering. That was the first step. And then thank you to everyone else who supported this program here this evening. Now, I will tell you that as much as we are beginning to wrap up this program here tonight, we are also already starting to think about 2021. The date of the Diamond Ball 2021 is already set. It is October 30th. Get ready on Halloween weekend to join us for what we all will know will be the party of the year. This year, we were here virtually. We gave you the party of the year. Next year, we'll be the party again. We have our chairs set up for that event, and I can tell you, as we sign off for this one, they are already planning for next year's events. So Salo and Olga Grossfeld, thank you for stepping up to the challenge of being our chairs. You want to give that bell to them as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Salo and Olga, thank you so much, folks. We will see you at next year's Diamond Ball. Thank you so very much to the Grossfeld, and thank you so very much for the generosity. Jason and I stand in very privileged positions to be able to see extraordinary generosity. So on behalf of Jason Albert, on behalf of myself, Jeff Cowan, thank you so very much. Oh, sorry, and Steve Colbert. You want to bring in the other guy, too? He's yeah, been yeah, kind of waiting on, to be part on, of our wait, show. Sorry. Hold on, yeah, let's bring him in. Yeah, this guy too. I mean, they He's are unbearably the cute, right? Uh, I'm going to let him sign off by himself with his friends up here as well. For right? all my bears, ladies and gentlemen, I now want to go ahead and hand it over to the Patel family. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for joining us. My name is Ricky Patel. I'm the chairman of the Nicholas Children's Hospital. This is my wife, Arthi. This is Sahana. And this is Maya. We want to take this opportunity to thank Jack and Barbara Nicholas for their immense support throughout 2020. Thank you so much for joining us for this virtual Diamond Ball. We really hope that you enjoyed it. It's been a great night celebrating the children. But before we end, let's send it over to the real MVP of the night, Gabriel and his family. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Good night. It's time for bed.